All right, welcome everybody to Pokemon Speedruns Podcast Season 2, Episode 7. Um, my name is Etiquette, I'm one of your hosts, uh, joined today by other regular host, Iron. Hello. And Jordan. Hello. Um, and with us today, we have special guests, uh, Cooker. Hey. And Skoa Gogo. Hi. Um, so thank you guys all for showing up today. Um, this is the first podcast in two months, actually. Normally we do monthly, but we ended up skipping last month. Um, so we have quite a lot to talk about. Uh, but before we get into the various notable runs, um, just want to mention a few things that happened over the last uh, few months. Uh, the first thing was actually on the normally scheduled podcast day for October, we had PSR Community Day. So all the various Pokemon speedrunning communities uh, came together and for one day in October, basically all streamed you know various runs. I think a lot of people did races, some, some really fun, interesting runs. Um, and they put all that together. Uh, so that was a lot of fun. I think that's something we haven't like fully discussed it, but I wouldn't be surprised if that is something we do a lot more regularly. Um, that was the first time we did it sort of in place of the marathon this year. Um, but I, I think it went really well. I don't know about any of you guys. I'll be honest, it was a while ago. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Um, second sort of uh, news item was in the uh, Game Boy Pokemon speedrunning community. Um, Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, as well, well as Fire, Red, Leaf, Green, have had their leaderboards split. So um, consoles, uh, console runs are going to be on one leaderboard, and emulator runs are on another one. Um, this is something that has been the case for DS for a little while and 3DS a little bit longer. Um, but it's sort of a new way to organize the leaderboards. Before, they were all on the same leaderboard, but emulators were hidden. Um, but now we actually have separate categories for that so uh, everybody's run can be shown um, and the last bit of news before we jump into the notable runs is that uh, turbo uh, controller turbo has is currently being trialed for the switch games so uh, it's more appropriate for sword and shield um, let's go is a little bit harder to get turbo controllers because of the joy cons uh, but basically, for category extensions, as well as the uh, the main runs, sort of uh, adding Turbo as a, an option on a more as-needed basis, as soon as someone does a run, uh, the variable will get added and things like that. Um, with these games being you know, a bit on the longer side um, and kind of grueling on the hands, it uh, is something that we've been talking about for a little bit, but finally have sort of like a trial run in place. Uh, the plan is to see, you know, how many people adopt it, how many people like it, all that kind of stuff, and probably do some sort of community vote in the future. Uh, but if this is something that you're interested in, feel free to uh, do some runs. Uh, and with that, I think we are good to jump into the notable runs. So, Iron, you want to take away the Game Boy games? Uh, yeah, for sure. So first up, we have uh, Enter... Uh, getting the gold any percent world record uh, with a time of 8.15. I'm not sure if he's comparing to his PB. I don't recall what the best time was before this point, but it was a pretty good run overall. Um, good boxes, just one encounter. Oh, there we go. 25 second improvement on the previous. So he's, he's comparing to his PB on the uh, on the splits you see here. Um, as you can see what he's doing, I don't really understand too much of what's going on, but he's doing... Um, Doing some is this um is this ace that he's doing? I'm not I'm not as familiar with uh with this uh category arbitrary code execution. It's but anyway, it's a, a lot of a lot of wizardry to uh, get to the uh, to get to red and uh, and beat the game, so that, as you can see there. Um, currently, Enter actually has three of the four glitched Gen two world records, and at now at some point actually has held all four. Um, so by all four, I mean gold, silver, and crystal, which are, well, gold and silver is one game, crystal is another game, and the any percent and the no save corruption uh, variants of those two. So this is the with save corruption category by the looks of it. 
Uh, any other comments on this? Uh, very short run, as you can see, so uh, not a lot of uh, battles and whatnot going on here. Nice Wait, is, is this faster than Crystal Knight? Look. I remember Crystal's had, like... I swear Crystal's has been, like, lower for a really long time. Uh, no. Crystal's like five no. minutes, yeah. Yeah, Crystal's five minutes, four seconds. Huh. Wait, it was, okay. I honestly did not know Crystal was that short. Uh, yeah, I mean, so it's like, first is a 504. Uh, so by... Interpreted uh, words by this person. Uh, <laughs> that was like <laughs> two years ago. And then seconds at 11.15. So I assume like the 504 was like... It's just that good that those really competing or wanting to try and be it. Interesting. Yeah. Oh wow, yeah, that's a huge. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's over six. It's, six it's minutes, over the length yeah. of time for the actual run. Yeah, I think like Andrew's the only one that's done that, right? Yeah. Well, that is. That's really quick. You know, just a casual six minute gap in a five minute category. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Yep. Okay. Um, so, yeah, congrats to Enter for that run. Uh, so next up, we have um, this is uh, kind of re relating to how the Fire Red leaderboards were split, and then eventually the Ruby Sapphire Emerald leaderboards is when Cooker, our guest this week, pulled off this run. So, you want to talk about the run, Cooker? Um,. I mean, I'm going to start off talking about how this Pikachu was probably one of the funniest manips I've ever done in Pokemon speedrunning. Um, <laughs> but basically, what people may or may not know is that you need, like, Torrent, which means that you need to have very low HP entering than Brock's gym. And as you can see, I have very high HP, but then Pikachu decides to not allow me to escape three times and then hit me down to perfect HP. Which actually makes me have a very, very, very good situation for the gym. Um, but, I mean, of course it's time loss, but besides than that, it's just a very good thing to happen to me. Um, I can say my Squirtle is kind of nutty in the sense that the stats are very, very good. Only attack oh, being yeah. a bit oh, low, yeah. but it doesn't really matter, to be honest. It's like one range you won't go for because of that. Um, and I don't know, my... Game was very, very solid up until Victory Road. I did a lot of safety strats because I was so far ahead. Like, I got a revive for Coca. I used a special strat on Erika to, so I didn't have to revive uh, to, um, to hit a blizzard, I mean. Um, and then I just had a very poor executed Victory Road Lorelei thingy, um, which mean, meant I, I just lost a lot of time. Um, but I was still so far ahead that it wasn't really an issue. Um, and then I got like the perfect lens where I critted and actually, yeah, golded uh, the land split, which is actually very hard to gold for me because I already had that crit before. Um, and then, as most people probably know at this point, is that uh, I forgot to elixir after lands, which probably lost me at least 25 seconds. Um, because I had to do it mid-fight, which also meant I had to actually heal twice in the fight, where usually you heal either zero times at once. Um, so that was a bit unfortunate, but the run was very, very lucky. I only missed, like, one kick. Um, and I don't know, you can get better runs for sure, but the start was just kind of insane, honestly, if we take, like, from me beating Brock to me beating Surge, especially, was just the craziest uh, I have experienced, I think. Yeah, yeah so... the real, pretty, really insane time. And what was the t when we So we actually ended up doing, I think um, QPals ended up comparing your run to the best, at the, at the time, the best console run, which is Shiru's run. Um, to kind of see what the time comparison was in terms of load times, I think. Um, and I don't know what the time you had was. It still was faster than Shiru's. Um, it was a 201 something, if I recall correctly. 
Yeah, um, so Kubel compared my run to Shiro's, and mainly we th we've actually found out something very interesting. It was that when you enter battle, you you actually gain a lot of time compared to every other load for whatever reason. Um, but my time was timed to a 201.22, which is, you know, ahead of Shiro. But uh, I will probably come to what is not ahead of soon enough. Um, but again, it's just compared to one console run. We don't actually know if it would, if every console run is comparable in the same sense. So if you could mm. compare it to another run, if it would also lose 26 seconds, or if it would lose more, or if it would gain more. But yeah, yeah, because there, there, we we did consider adding like a, a flat penalty to all emulator times. Um, but yeah, because it's so inconsistent, even. I'm not even sure. I don't think emulator itself is an issue, um, unless you're playing on a potato computer. But yeah, with consoles, it can vary slightly. So um, yeah. the decision was to to go with the split split leaderboards, uh, as we have mentioned already. Yeah, I think it's fine, but I don't necessarily think every emulator run will be very comparable, with, especially with updates coming and going. So that's. That's my main concern yeah. about the emulator leaderboard, but it's probably fine for the console one, so I don't mind that at all. And as you can see, I had a yeah. very, very long lower life fight because I chose to <laughs> full restore instead of just going for it while I was paralyzed. And then I got kind of lucky on Bruno because I went for a strat that is not really safe, to be honest, with 31 speed. Yeah, I think a, a new strat on Lorelei was recently developed by, I think, Pokeguy where you you bite at some point early on the on the on the dugong to lower its chance of using hail or something like that um you might be yeah, able to you might be able to explain better yeah basically just you set up twice and if he hasn't healed yet you start biting and then yeah. you just have a way more likely outcome of not getting healed and you max lose like one turn left so it's not like an awful thing to try and save I don't know, 20 plus seconds, probably more. Yeah. yeah now, now I mentioned now I, now I realize I mentioned that we're actually gonna have a, another our next run that we're gonna show our notable run is the new console world record by Poke Guy, and I'm not sure if he did that strat, but we'll find out. Um, I joined in. I was watching it here and there. It was kind of late at night for me, so I watched a little bit of it. But uh, Rio Jordan's teed that up nicely, so we'll see what he does. I mean, the thing is, if you get hail on turn one or two, you can't go for it. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's so, right. Yeah. So, like, he... I don't know, does he go for it here? He two X specs. Yeah, he does, yeah. Interesting. I have not seen it before, by the way. Oh, he got frozen. That's very nice. <laughs> <laughs> and then he just, like, specials. Interesting. Yeah, this fight's obviously like the bane of a lot of our a lot of the fire red leaf green runners because you can lose a lot of time to it. But yeah, Poke Guy's run here, um, as you can tell, he he beat Shiru by about 20 seconds, a little under the 20 seconds. Um, really solid time. He had a actually a 45 minute flat surge, which I believe, if I recall correctly, generally we consider if we're in the 45 range for surge, it's difficult to would have been very it's very difficult to beat the record time uh with that surge run but everything from surge onwards was really solid except for lorelei so uh he was very surprised <laughs> i think that was his main his main comment on when he posted it on twitter was how bad his surge time was or relatively bad compared to uh what it could have been and he still got record so yeah his run was pretty interesting because he also had this lower life as you can see where he probably loses 45 seconds easily <laughs> and he had a very bad or what you would consider like average early game so it just means his mid game has been insane basically mm -hmm. yeah so he's yeah he's he's kind of continuing to push for better times with this so I mean, he, Pretty cool to see this again. Cool. We we yeah we say this every we say this all the time like how much this game has come in the last year and a half or so. So it's it's really awesome to see.
But yeah, sorry, go ahead. No, I just said that he definitely proved that it, it's very, very possible to get the kind of time he wants, which is a sub two, but I mean, it's it still needs a lot of luck to get to that time, time, <laughs> that yeah. level of time. And of course, skill. Oh, he gets paralyzed as well. Like... I was just uh, looking like at the beginning of the year. Even like the time was, the time was like a two o two. I think that was roughly. Let me see what it was at twenty twenty. At the beginning of twenty twenty. Okay, yeah, it was a two o three fifty one. World record for console by Xarian. I suppose there was that like Xarian's run. Yeah, that was Xarian's run, and then second a two o five thirty one by Paper Guy twenty seven. Oh my god, that's a name I haven't heard in a really long time. That's a name I. I've never heard of. Oh, I only know of that name because of the Fire Deadly Screen boards. Because that's what the record was whenever I showed up in PSR. Or uh, was Xarian's time. And like, whenever I first started actually paying attention to the earlier gens. And I only recognize Paper Guy because of that. Yeah. Board. I, just, I just noticed it fifth. The fifth place time is Amoeba's time of a 209.25. Was that, is that not the Charmander run? No, I, I swear uh, that that's like the, the Charmander ride, because be, that's yeah. like all Amiibo uses <laughs> in Fire of the Green. Yeah, it, it, it yeah. should be Charmander for Amiibo. That is a Charmander run. But, so, oh, yeah. the fact, beginning of uh, 2020, like, top 5 was barely just under 210, and then, well, okay, I guess, because Amiibo hasn't uh, done a PB since then, that time is now 24. Yeah, the top levels had a lot of new people. Yeah. And that has changed a lot. Because I remember for like the longest time, because Pulse put in like a massive grind for a 202, like way, way back. And he was like the only person playing the game for the longest period of time. I never saw anyone else play Fire Red Leaf Green, at least any percent, other than Pulse. And then just like in 2020 just so many people showed up and started playing it yeah i think that, that's how i first found out about pulse i think actually it was that massive grind we granted i don't know what point i found out about it could have been right at the beginning it could have been close to the end like a year long one wouldn't it or something oh it was a really really long grind yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, 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 he's, he's on a well-deserved break from that game. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to clean his palette of, of Fire Red Leaf Green. Yes, go on. But yeah, that's crazy. Top 10 now is low 203, <laughs> as Kurt's mentioning in the chat. That's crazy. Oh no, it's okay. It's me. Alrighty. <laughs> um, so yeah. This is uh, the Diamond Pearl Any% percent Japanese record that I got. I don't even know when. Oh, September. Okay. This was quite a while ago. Um, and as you can tell from the, the splits, this is uh, quite a, an insane run. In a category like Diamond Pearl Any% percent, uh, being like 34 seconds ahead is absolutely amazing. Like, that's a, such a huge margin in this category. Uh and you're about to see in Jubilife City where I absolutely just choke the run. Um, I'm not I'm not even going to look at the screen for it because I hate the fact that it's happened. Um, instead, I'm going to talk about the route change that allowed such a, um, a large time difference really to come off of this. So, one of the things um, with the manipulations in Gen 4 is... After a battle, so like the catching tutorial or after rival fights uh, are really the only two, uh, or uh, after the rival fight outside Jubilife City and the catching tutorial are really the only two examples of it here. Um, the RNG advances during those text boxes. So obviously all the original manipulations are made on the English copy of the game so that the frame windows for carrying through the manip um, is like exclusive to that. Uh, well, like they're made with that in mind. And as you can probably even tell through just like the repel menus and the saving menus, the text in Japanese is just so, so, so much quicker. 
Um, so I sat and I made a version of the starting manip through to Orberg, uh, specifically for the Japanese copies, which uh, skips the Mar in Sanjam town, the same way the current English rite does. And that is really the big thing that allowed so much time to come off of this. That like you'll see my very, very first split there uh, is for the catching tutorial. I split whenever the uh, the click happens, whenever you catch the Bidoof. That right change alone saves like 10 seconds or something. And that's just up to Bidoof. And then, you know, there's even more time save of not. Because what you used to have to do is you would go through the text and you would wait the number of frames and just go with the English window and do that movement. So it cut out literally all the waiting that you had to do. And the movement path that I ended up getting um, through the rest of it is actually pretty quick as well. I think it's actually quicker than the the non-Mart skip English movement, which is what I was using beforehand. Um, but outside of that right change, because that, that alone gave me like 15 seconds to work with, um, the rest of my fights were just really, really good. Um, and I had some of like the most insane luck in some places. Um, and as you saw in Drip Life City, that was like an 11th try um, final tweak, which just lost like 30 seconds. So absolutely choked the runaway. But record is record. Um, I actually have been on pace to beat this since. Um, and I got, I lost the run to Gardenia. But. It's definitely an improvable time, and I do actually have plans to come back to and make an extended minip, because currently the Japanese version doesn't have the extended through the fashion case all the way to Eternus City. Um, I'm probably going to come back at some point and make that, and just go the whole way, and then get a time and just put the game down and never play it again. Because grinding Diamond and Pearl any percent of the top level is very, very rough because of the uh, random AI. But yeah, outside of the tweaking, um, that runs spectacular with a, a lovely right change to top it all off. The question is, when are you going to do Shining Pearl, 80%? I don't even know if I'm getting that. the game, man. I really don't you even know, know if I'm getting the game. And if I do get it, I'm getting Diamond because Dialgo is cooler. That is true. And, and, and people who are going to go for Pearl because they're like, oh, Palkia was faster in the originals uh, whenever, before Lucky Egg Manip. That is a, not, not an awful reason to go, but I highly doubt it's going to apply to the new games given how much easier the gamer is probably going to be. And especially because Chimchar seems to get like Para Punch or something, judging by the trailers, I could almost guarantee Chimchar is going to be the right through. Well, well it's going to be two Twig. It's not gonna I would be so happy if it was Turtwig, dude. Turtwig's my favorite Pokemon. I'd cry with happiness if it was Turtwig, but I just know it's not gonna be. <laughs> yeah, part of the part of the reason why Palkia was so good in the originals was because of Surf. But if HMs aren't forced, then who knows where actual like Surf TM is gonna be? So yeah, it, it might not even be given it, to you. It probably won't even switch to the the legendary. It'll probably either be a starter or some like lucario kind of pokemon and just take it to the end which or would be interesting. <laughs> now i i would reckon it's probably gonna be chimchar into infernip i i'd actually be pleasantly surprised if it was something else because i don't really want it to be uh chimchar again because chimchar has all of diamond and pearl and it currently has platinum it won't keep platinum but it it has it currently yeah chimps are so good it's a really good poke good typing empoleon is better but i'm not i'm not gonna i'm not gonna get into that because i could talk for hours about chimchar versus empoleon <laughs> and platinum white two then the minnows run yeah, so this was, uh, oh wow, okay, I actually didn't, I've never watched the uh, Marlin fight in Minnow's run. So this is Minnow's um, 310.59, this is the former world record from earlier in 
the month. Like, if I had the podcast last month gone through, this would have been the uh, the record to cover. Um, but I know you can't really tell from the splits because he's using target splits. Uh, that run is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, that is the first ever sub two Drayden in a run. It's I think also the first ever one twenty one clay, and it was very nearly a one forty two Skyla. So that run is absolutely fantastic. Up until Marlon, and as you can see, that this is pretty much as bad as Marlon can go. Uh, Minnow lost about one minute to Marlon. Uh, the, it was like a three. It was like a realistic three oh nine pace run until Marlon, and it just it just all came crashing down sadly. But um, in all other aspects, uh, obviously the first two hours of this were amazing. It's just Marlon really was the. Uh, the real kicker because um in y2 a lot of your time saves and time losses it, it's kind of spread out through the run in a lot of pokemon runs you have like a few fights that are really really critical y2 has that plus a bunch of other stuff like in reversal mountain for example there's a vibrava which if you don't get the protein uh is like a 75 percent range it's like it's like 82 percent with the protein but if you miss that range um and you're like under half health you just die and lose like 30 seconds like y y2 has a lot of really really um strange and frustrating places where a lot of that can happen but um yeah it has a lot of very very critical fights and even beyond that minnow's um martial fight was genuinely like perfect um well, i see jordan's uh pulled up the now current world record uh which was my run of 310 24 which by contrast to minnow which uh, i actually didn't realize that the highlight for minnow's um run was marlin until i actually changed the highlight to be my marlin fight uh, which i feel kind of bad for now because my marlin fight was genuinely perfect so just just to contrast the two runs on the Drayden split um minnows was a 159 uh 57 and mine was a 20024 so minnow was like a good 25 seconds ahead of me at Drayden, and my marlin is like 38 seconds ahead of his at the end of that split just to just to weigh up how much a good to bad marlin split loses it's genuinely a minute marlin can just go so so badly um but my run overall was pretty good uh the, the had a good start and terrible roxy split but i have i got the best ever drillber split in a run uh which was pretty nice and then uh my my, my, my mid game was okay but my Drayden and Marlin splits were absolutely exceptional, which is like, you can you can excuse a lot of other stuff if Drayden and Marlin go really well in Y2. Um, and my late game was pretty decent as well. And ha had I gotten um, a perfect Marshall the way Minnow did in his run, it would have been a 309. Uh, but my Elite Four was kind of iffy. Um, but yeah, I, I got this run after grinding Y2 any percent most days for about two months um which was an absolutely grueling grind it was absolutely you know like heartbreaking to sit and do a lot of the time because y2 is such a a harsh and unforgiving game at the top level um and it's going to be even more so because the record has come down more but um i see jordan you <laughs> skipped forward to uh the elite four um my my uh, marshall was it, it was still really good it wasn't perfect but it was very very good i got two flinches out of the three that you want so the three that you want is throw conkilder and sock i just didn't get throw and had i gotten all three i would have gotten 309 but hey ho there's there's not much you can do about it after the fact um the real the real time loss in the elite four is right because of my hp um your HP depends on the order that you do the final two members. If you're below 62 HP, or it's either 62 or 64, you go and you fight Caitlyn before Chantal. Because on Caitlyn, 
uh, her lead Masharna can only hit you with a Dream Eater, and you just full restore um, up to full HP. And then I got Will O Wisp on Chantal and had the heal before Iris, which lost um, about 10 seconds. But that was like the only real bad thing in the Elite Four. The rest of it was pretty, pretty good. Um, and I also took an exceptional risk on Grimsley because um, because my HP was like that low. I, I, I'm, I'm not going to heal out of battle because that's just going to lose more time than it's going to save. Um, even for the uh, the riskiness of it because uh, Lyperd spams Night Slash, which has a higher crit ratio. So, you know. No, not not the smartest thing probably to like looking back on it, I probably shouldn't have risked it but it paid off so who cares yeah if it pays off it's fine exactly if it pays off there's nothing to complain about I think yeah we're on to the three yes runs now Sadka so gotta take this uh, yeah Truly's so this double. is uh, this is Truly's run uh, this was the Pokemon new Pokemon X record um, with a 341.26, uh, beating the previous record by about three seconds. Um, had a, a pretty rough start, um, had a bad Viola fight, but then uh, the rest of the run was pretty solid. Lost a, a bit of time in like the mid game to Ramos, the fourth gym leader, and then right after that to getting the Lucky Egg. Um, but everything else was, was really, really good um the the only it did have like a bit of a sort of stressful ending because on the the final fight with az he did get burned um which with the extra burn text and everything almost cost him record but uh, in the end was able to to pull it out um and it was a pretty hefty pb at that like it only beat record by about three seconds but if you look at his splits like his old pb was a 344 and was able to cut that by over three minutes uh, to get that 341. And um, yeah, really, really good run overall. Um, and may have been beaten about a month later by Wartab. So um, this is Wartab's 341.15, which if you look at the splits, um, you can see he was a lot more than just 15 seconds ahead but had probably one of the worst things that you can have happen there where missed rock tomb into reflect so um ended up getting through the fight just fine this is the champion fight uh so the second to last fight last fight that you actually have to win in the run um was able to get through it fine but it did it did cost you know upwards of like 30 seconds or so so it was a little bit of a bittersweet ending um but overall warteps pretty happy with the run um said it felt a lot better like it felt a lot better a lot cleaner uh than his his old time so um he was happy with it um and, and both runners do think that like a, a 340 339 as like an absolute top 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 time is possible but um I think most most of the runners have moved on. I think Truly's doing some fire red right now, and Wartab has sort of killing time until BDSP comes out. So we'll see. Yeah, I think Truly is lethal around two as well, isn't it? Truly all. Um... Yeah. Yeah. Yep. But, yeah. Um. Yeah, and then to to round out the um, 3DS records this month. Um, this was just a couple days after the uh, the X record. Uh, here's Truly getting a 304.49 or 48. I don't know which one. The video says 48, but our thing says 49. Um, in Alpha Sapphire, which is about a 40... Yeah, a little bit over 40 second improvement over the old record um, and about two minute improvement over his PB. Um, this was essentially the god Alpha Sapphire run. Um, and what we've highlighted here is more or less the only bad thing in the run. Um, at least luck wise, basically. Um, so Matt here at the top of Mount Pyre is the worst fight or one of the worst fights in Alpha Sapphire. Um, because depending on your Latius's stats, you could 
not kill the Sharpedo. The Sharpedo could outspeed you. It has Ice Fang, which is both 10% to freeze you and 10% to flinch you. Um, so it's it's a really rough fight. Um, he ended up taking a gamble and healed off Poison that he had on the previous fight from Poison Fang and ended up getting frozen and died instead. Um, it's not It's not a run-killing death, um, as you can clearly see, uh, because we can sort of run over here and get a rare candy and revive it um, pretty quickly, so we don't have to worry about having revives or anything. But it, it does cost a, a decent amount of time, so this run could have been even better. Um, but it's it's good to finally see an Alpha Sapphire time with a 304. The, the record in Alpha Sapphire had been kind of lagging behind the Omega Ruby record for a while, and it's still, you know, decently far behind. Uh, Poke Guy's Omega Ruby time is like a 303.0 something, like 06 or something like that. But uh, this is definitely more representative of what Alpha Sapphire is really capable of. It's just, this is such a hard time to beat because the mid game is just so brutal with if you don't have like a good Latias, like this Latias isn't even perfect. It's good. Um, it's probably the best you can hope for with 31 special attack and speed. But if you have that plus special attack, you can just save so much more time. Yeah, yeah. Poker Guy's times a 30307. 30307. And then second though is since that with a 30424. But those two times are a lot closer. Oh yeah. So Poker Guy's a ridiculously good time. Yeah, that, that run... There were, there were some route improvements, I think, over Sinstar's time as well, but yeah, that, that run is extremely good. I, I guess onto my my children. Like yeah, this was away. Yeah, this this was interesting. So oh, this, that looks like, like this what was to me when I'm on that route. Oh yeah. I I really shouldn't ride the Did bike but also. I shouldn't ride the bike, but I'm I'm too adamant about riding the bike because normally it's fine. But either way, um, this was like the second world record I got, in, like because I got one the day before with like a a four ten thirteen that was there. Because like this was part of like I was just doing shield attempts for like seventy two hours. Like I'd sleep in the middle, but like I'd leave stream on for, like seventy two hours, just grinding. Uh, shield attempts and then like eventually got like this run I think on the third day where like, for it, I just got like really good Arcanine like if you look at the Arcanine there it's like a it's you want you want good attack more than you want good special attack and I think I'm right in saying that is it right yeah yeah definitely yeah. this is a great one and the speed's good too yep yeah this is like rare it's rare to have Pokemon be nice to you <laughs> With like uh, when you try to catch things, but and then like Madrilba as well was um, it was a rash, not, yeah, not, yeah, rash Madrilba, no, not rash. Actually, not. It I, I can I can just look. I can look. It was plus attack. Up. Yeah, plus attack. All right, adamant. There we adamant, go. Adamant. Yeah. Yeah. Either way, it was just like really, like it was just a great combination. It all it all worked out really well. The only issue really with this run was I got five encounters, which I think. Four of them was just nothing I could really do. I think the one that I showed there, where I ran into the uh, on like Route Six with the Sunny Route, uh, that's the one which I probably shouldn't have done. Like that was my own fault. But everything else was like something would just pop up. In fact, if I can go back a tiny bit, uh, right moment. I think it's just about here. Like Edica has had this happen multiple times. I hate where, this route. Yeah, this route's yeah. awful. It's just something will spawn. And you can't, especially if you're on the water bike, because it's got such slow turning. Like you can't really do too much about stuff like that. Yeah, so, and the funny yeah. the funny thing about that route is, like, the Whalmers aren't even usually the problem. Usually it's because there's so many Pokemon that are... Mantikes. Uh, Mantikes and Remoraids that jump out of the water. And, yeah. you know, when a Whalmer spawns, you almost don't expect it to be the problem, but... That's rough. Yeah. I will say one thing I did do in this run, because I was on such good pace, was I picked up that max elixir and didn't use rock slide. That's smart. I just, yeah, I just didn't want I didn't want to risk an eighty percent move. When I knew I was on a good on a good time and I can just pick it up and you typically will have to heal anyway and go into the menu 
in some fashion. Um, Wait, eighty so. percent? Is not ninety, or has it changed? It's ninety. Oh, I've just done it. Should be ninety, yeah. <laughs> did, did they nerf Rockside? <laughs> yeah, uh, fair enough. But I mean, still, uh, I was not going to risk ten percent because if it was going to happen, it would happen in this run. I think like this. And that, and... Oh, God, sorry, you sorry. used that axe like sort of the spike myth gym, right? Yeah, I used that like... just during the spike okay. myth gym because I think you can it's use it yeah. like two or three times depending on the situations. I think. So, yeah, just picking that up to just play it safe. But yeah, that, that was kind of really the only thing that was bad about this run. And as well, I, one major thing with this title, this is the first, uh, the first Shield World record, or the, the first, like, Sword Shield World record that if you, like, kind of applied it to the pre-1.2 patch, it would be ahead of yep. the 1.0 uh, 1 1.1 times. So... Yeah, it was a it was a very good run, and I'm still kind of annoyed that it's not a four or seven. <laughs> but, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you would be. <laughs> I think right at the end. How close was it? Literally, it was so close. Like I kind of figured it's gonna happen. I think yeah. it's one of those situations you're looking at the timer and you're just like, no, nah, I'm looking. It's gonna happen, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I think I just start like. Uh, shaking my head at some point. Don't know when though. The acceptance. <laughs> yeah, just like acceptance. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> not not today. Yeah, God, I'm I'm waiting way too long for. This. Okay, I think I might actually just pass this. Oh, is it? No, it's because the hat. Is it the hat throw? No, it's the hat. There we go. Yeah, the hat. The hat throw takes. takes... So long. Yeah. And that. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that was. That was that, but... Are you yeah. sure you didn't start your timer really late? <laughs> oh, I instantly, instantly frame counted it. It was like a 408.13. No. So... Damn. It was, it was what it is, but... It was, it was such a good run. I couldn't complain, but it was also that's a really solid kind time, of complaining. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say, compared to your Summer Bass, like that, that seems like a really, really good run. Oh, I mean, to be fair... Uh, my shield splits aren't really the best to compare. Because like I, mean, half the time... I know literally nothing about Gen 8, so I'm just looking at numbers and seeing that the, yeah, the final the... product is yeah. pretty close. It's, it's, it's not so much Gen 8, it's more how I just do things. Because I, I won't finish runs out. As soon as something oh, goes same. bad, I'll just end. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to waste... Well, it's not wasting my time, really, but it's also... It's, it's me, it's wasting my time. I'm very... I, I just need to do a run. If the run's... You know, I have the exact yeah. same. Like, you, you're probably the same as me. Like, all your early game golds are incredible because you spend so much time there. Yeah. Yeah. Because my, my early game white 2 golds are absolutely, like, amazing. Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's... That category with the driller catch, like, just oh, kills all, yeah. Run. Actually, like, should... yeah. Well, the just like catch. white 2. Yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Yeah, because Game Freak yeah, decided to add an extra variable that was like, oh, if this Pokemon's a higher level than you, 10% your catch rate. Yeah, that's actually probably one of the few areas for this that could be improved. Like, it was it was still a quick drillber catch, but it was actually my second drillber. I spent ages looking around. Oh, it's so bad. Yeah, I, I dabbled in these, this route with the drillber, and I had such a hard time seeing them. I could yeah. hear them. I could hear their, them crying, and I'm like, where are you? That's the thing. I couldn't... That's, this is just a dumb thing on my own end. I don't listen to the game audio when I play. So I had to rely yeah. on looking around. Uh, why did played. you change the time? So you change the time there to uh, get diff different weather, so you're not in Sandstorm. Because like, you'll lose time getting oh, Sandstorm okay. damage. And... Yeah, so you change it... So like you search in the sandstorm weather for the drill bird because it spawns uh, like more often. It's a higher percentage, and then you change to this intense sun or something like that. Whatever, whatever date we changed it to, to um it, like what weather. Would its ability it is. have a factor in the fact that you changed the the time? It could, because if it if it gets sandstorm or not sandstorm, if it gets sand rush, no 
saying force would be the bad one because you'd die. Because normally what you do is you burn it. It both helps yeah. with the the catch chance as well as it helps you not die. But if it has sand force, like that help kind of gets negated. <laughs> yeah, because I think is it a first? Well, I mean, I'll find out in a second because it's going to happen. But I think it was yeah, a first, first ball. ball. Yeah, I think it was the first ball, and then like I think I actually. Yeah, that's actually where I popped off more than actually finished the run. Which wasn't yeah, even really much good. of a pop off, but yeah, I think that was like the first time I've actually had a good dribble catch. But anyway, I should I, I assume on. YOLO balling just is not viable here. Um, you can YOLO ball once with a quick ball if you bring in another Pokemon for a bit of safety, I guess, because it's around the same chance, I believe. But what it's is like, that great? Um, at the lowest possible health with Drillba burned, I think it's like around 20 odd percent. <laughs> oh god, really? Yeah, yeah because... Destroyed it. Yeah, it's like reduced by an eighth or a tenth. Yeah. Like that. The, catch, the catch rate's weird in this game, like it's based on the differential between your level and their level. I suppose yeah. say, because we, we, we go with 30, 33% great ball at full HP in Y2. Yeah, so a quick ball turn one is just under 15%, and a mm. dusk ball at night burned, and like exactly one HP is 13.6%. So it's Seriously? like, it's so bad. Yeah. <laughs> to run sword. <laughs> yeah, speaking of sword. Yeah, speaking of sword. Um... Or, but this run doesn't even use Sobble. <laughs> This one doesn't uh, even use Please don't mention this... that. We can ignore that bit. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is Ringo taking back the uh, the 1.2 record for Sword. Uh, I say taking back. He ha Ringo has the um, 1.0 record for Sword with a 404, like 14. Um, and this is a 405, 15 using a different route. So this is the Candy Floss route. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's um, it's a really really interesting route. Uh, basically, you start with Scorbunny, you catch a Vulpix that you evolve into Ninetales right away, sort of like in the Shield route, we catch Growlithe and evolve it into Arcanine right away. Um, the main difference is instead of switching to Excadrill like you do in Sword, instead there is an in-game trade in um, Hullbury, Hullbury, Hullbury yeah. where you can trade a Mancino here for a Cottony. Um, and then you can evolve the Cottony into Whimsicott and use the Whimsicott for the run. Um, you, you do some dual main stuff where you use Ninetales for some things, but most of the run is done using the Whimsicott. Um, this Mancino catch here was really good. It's a 40% encounter, I believe, uh, in the random encounters. So it's not one of the overworld encounters like Vulpix. Uh, so this is a bit of a heavy RNG section, but really good, really good section there. Um, and then, yeah, the rest of this run was just pretty ridiculous. Um, did get a level 7 Vulpix, which is the lowest level you can get, but um, it didn't seem to slow him down too much. Um, yeah. And I guess, like, one thing to know... I, I, I actually know the specific time and the difference between the 1.2 Sword Candy Floss and post 1.2 update, but I'm pretty... I think it's pretty safe to say that this is also quicker than the 404 14 13 whatever ringo had most uh, likely so yeah both of the times if you were to account now for both for sword and for shield they are they would be ahead yeah and i think even actually to be fair i haven't gone through this run uh, too much like looking at it but i mean i wouldn't be surprised cause it's probably i wouldn't be surprised if there's still enough improvement to be just straight up like be it uh the pre one point two times yeah like i mean the, the it, it could definitely shield. be possible um yeah, it's, it's difficult very difficult but... <laughs> yeah i know uh so the pre so the 1.0 candy floss record was also ringo's at like a 406 so this beats that run by a minute even not accounting for the load time differences so mm -hmm. i mean i don't know i know ringo's been doing a lot of japanese runs and then i think did 
like a day of English attempts. Yeah, he's doing Japanese like, again now. Doing Japanese again, yeah. Yeah, I was watching him earlier. So it'll it'll be interesting to see. There's not a lot of people doing Sword and Shield right now. Uh, well, at least in terms of like the very top end sword. Uh, yeah. A lot of people are doing like like I know Iron was doing runs and actually got a PB um, today. But in general, a lot of people are sort of in a holding pattern. A lot of people that would be running this are in a holding pattern until BDSP. So yeah. one thing I will say, there's been so many Japanese runs submitted. Uh, over the last month or two, like there's just, there's just been so many like they, like for both any percent with DLC and for just any percent. Uh, I think a lot of them have done the kind of false. But I don't think any Japanese runners really. I mean, there might be a couple, but there's not many. Of the Japanese runners do shield, but the uh, sword. There's been a lot of Japanese runs, which is interesting. It's like been really interesting to see. And like I don't know if part of that was because of um. RTA in Japan. They're the big four way race. Like, I don't know if that maybe inspired some people, but oh, it has maybe. been really interesting to see. Like, especially the I think. Well, yeah, actually, yeah. A lot of Japanese runs for the main boards, and then I just look through like the leaderboard roundup. And I was saying that there's so many like trade on mains and stuff, way more than I realized. Like, in this uh, two month period. That's just a little thing to throw out there, I guess. Really cool. The thing I want to know, though, is is Candy Floss faster after this update? <sighs> Ringo believes so. Um. So, so he... It's, it's, it's such a difficult answer. question. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I knew it was a difficult question, that's well, why I asked. <laughs> so, one of, the, one of the biggest... So, with the 1.2 update, one of the biggest load time hits that we see is like going in and out of your bag. So every time you use an X item, every time you heal in battle, yeah. stuff like that. And like nine tails here learns nasty plot. So you're not using X specials. Ooh. You're using nasty plot for the nine tail yeah. section. And so it was one of the same things with the, the shield route shield. Probably like, I do think Jordan's time is faster than the, the 1.0 times, but like shield probably doesn't get hit as hard just because in the end game, you're using a lot of sword stances, not X attacks. So it very well could be that Sobble takes a bigger hit because of all the X items it uses, where Candy Floss probably gets more benefit out of like Nasty Plot and stuff like that. And Giga Drain as well for healing. And Giga yeah. Drain for healing. So I got my got my spreadsheet up from maybe like all the low timing counts. If oh God, I hate doing that. But um Kind of like figured out that it was at like the sword sobble, um, at like for the real time. I don't know, the, I don't think there's been any root changes really since then, but um, it was like 34.4 uh seconds from X items, so uh, like kind of fossil use less, let's I don't know how much less, so that's the thing, but probably like two thirds of the total, I'd assume. Like, because you don't use nine tails for too long. Right. So we'll get this as a investment. So maybe around 22 seconds will be lost. So like a 12 second difference if maybe. I can't imagine that Candy Floss would be faster than Sobble because of that. Because I can't imagine it being that close before. But then again, I don't know what it was. No one had pushed it like... We don't have. It's not like we have tasks for either of these runs to like figure out what the ultimate top end is. In like the best case scenario, so I think real life from you're going to be getting more times more consistently with Candy Floss. Yeah. Right. But probably Sobble in the ultimate best case scenario is still quicker, but it's a nightmare. It'd be a nightmare. Uh, it it sounds like Piplop versus Chimchar in Platinum. In all honesty. Probably yeah. And then we just ignore shield because shield is just slower. <laughs> yep. Sorry, Iron. <laughs> <laughs> nah, because I because I asked because Ringo's run has made me somewhat interested in sword shield. So it is it's good to do, and you can use it now with turbo, <laughs> which I will not be doing. I just 
That training with Turbo is so much nicer. Nah, <laughs> it's I, so I'm much sorry. nicer. I, I'm team anti-Turbo. No, I, I fully respect that. But uh, I, I would be say. very, very heavily against it. Turbo is incredibly nice for learning a run. Because yeah. you can basically... Oh, yeah, I can understand that for learning. ...reading notes and stuff. It's so nice. But for actual attempts, I'm very heavily against it. Oh, yeah, that's... It is completely understandable. I, just, I like for me, it's just like I definitely I, understand. I've mashed way too much in this. I just want to hold buttons now. <laughs> I'm at that. Well, I definitely understand the appeal of it. Yeah, yeah, and then, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. Every, everyone has their own preferences. There's it's, definitely this no wrong is, way. This game is super like mashing intensive. Like I haven't done that many speedruns of different categories of Pokemon, but this one is definitely the worst. And like I get fatigued. I'm done. after I do one run, I can't. I can't really do runs back to back days, like full four and a half hour runs. It's like I have to take a day off. It's pretty It'd be interesting to see if it holds I mean, a candle. It depends on the person, too, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I will. I guess like this is to an extreme with this. I know, but like when I was doing the like the seventy two hours of Shield, and just like my first day, first second, like first two days. It was fine. I was just getting normal things. Third and fourth day, I was like, I, I had pretty bad pains on my arm, <laughs> just from like because I was mashing that much. But also, just don't do that. No one does that. <laughs> so like, if you just take care of yourself, it's fine. Don't be an idiot like me, basically. Why would you take care of yourself when you can speed run? <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, I got a world record. Clearly, for Ex exactly. And there you go. Was it was it all worth it? Maybe if we got a four or seven fifty nine. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that is that's the end of the uh, the switch section. I think I don't think there's any, unless there's any last notes. Cause I, I... No, I think that's it. Yep. Oh, actually, there was one little thing I did notice with this run. Um, Ringo has a little pause at the top. Um, I think it went just a bit too far there. So, like this route's awful. It's notoriously bad, especially in Sword, uh, because of the girders. Which there was only one. There's only that one girder that spawns. But nice. you know, <laughs> yeah, it's just the token <laughs> of Mario is the best. I got that girder today. And, and like, it. and like, if this was Sobble route, that'd be perfect. That'd be the best case scenario having the token of Mario at the bottom of the stairs to encounter. But because this is Candy Floss, and you already have a second Pokemon with you. Because you're forced to do double battles in this. Um, you don't want to have to encounter them when you don't want to. So Ringo just had to wait. Now I think there was 10. You can actually. If the token of Mario is close to the stairs. You can actually. Because it's that small of a hitbox. You can go down the stairs. It puts you a tiny bit away. And you'd be able to walk away. That would have been fine. I just don't know if Ringo knew that. It's a, it's a very niche situation. What was that? Well, why do you, why is it okay with Sobble though? So because like player. yeah because like again because you're forced into double battles you want like you want your second Pokemon to be um basically be like a higher level Pokemon so it's not gonna level up much and lose time on that end and Togun Maru has oh it can have an ability lightning is it lightning rod yeah it'll be lightning rod I think where yeah. there's a Flygon in one of the double battles. Uh, with Ryan, either which is the eighth gym leader, uh, his flagon has Thunder Punch, which obviously when you're intelligent with a water Pokemon, you don't want to get hit. Oh by. yeah. So Lightning Rod will get taken to the target of Mario. But either way, though, like you want a higher level Pokemon, so you'll either you'll either catch Token Mario, which is like a, I think it's five percent, or the more common thing you'll catch is a Pawniard because it'll survive hits. Throughout right hand gym because that's the that's the double battle gym basically. Yeah. Um. The old route used um because like you catch two Litwicks earlier, as a different gym challenge in the third gym. In the fire gym, yeah. Yeah, and it used to be the case of using them, to um and just have, have those then, but they level up a lot and it's lower, but. They don't yeah, evolve, it, do they? They evolve. Uh, they levels, no, so. they. Don't evolve because lump like lump it's like level forty evolution. So 
Uh, yeah, you, they, they don't evolve, but they level up a lot. Also, there's a, a trainer skip. I, was say, I remember whenever that trainer skip was discovered. Yeah, there's a trainer skip, and then what I like to call extended trainer skip, which I think Ringo actually does in this, where you'll do that first one, and then you'll kind of just do the, the gym as normal. Uh, I'll just skip it a bit, because it's just normal walking. Uh, there's like a little tiny bit there where you wait. Right there. And then... What I call the train skip is when you go into this like final section. Normally you'll take a right there, like, but instead you take the second right whilst the train is looking away. And like Smart. if you do the if you do everything right, it's it's a free skip, effectively. But you, no you one need really. To, I think you need to have it. really good movement though and cut the corners perfectly. Because I tried extended and my movement was good. I didn't pause or anything like that. But I took like the turns like at right angles. Um, so and, and I still hit the trainer. So how I'll practice, but... Yeah, I mean yeah, it's like it's something you, you do have to practice a bit. But yeah. typically what I find is I'll just go back a bit again. Um typically if you are waiting for this person and you want to wait close to the that platform bit, if you're having to wait like a tiny bit, you know you're on the right cycle. Um, I believe Ringo's actually done like an even quicker uh, version, but I think he ends up going, taking that first right, because I don't know if it lines up for the second trainer. But yeah, uh, a little more uh, Soul Shield knowledge. Very big fan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so moving to the side games though. Not not the best transition, I'm sorry. But uh Snap <laughs> Any percent Wii U Virtual Console World Record. A twenty nineteen point one by Quo. Um it's an improvement by eight point six seconds. Is it from the looks of it it's not like it's had as much competition because like a lot of people do run on the N sixty four version, but this is the quickest version of the game. Uh I don't know what is this on the Switch virtual console? No. Uh, yes, I think it is. Is this one of the games that got added? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Cool, so yeah, I don't know if that's going to be quicker or not. I was going to say, for that discussion. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, that's going to be, that must be a fun discussion that they're, they're having right now. But, at least up until then, uh, before that, the Wii U version does see, like, is the fastest version. But, people seem to run it less. However though, very good run. And it seems to be that... Uh, it can get a 20 oh something. Uh, some, uh, quote some of the best is like a 2012, like a 2012 X something. But he believes that there's uh, there's still, still some improvements that can be made. That's some, that's pretty cool. And then from old to new, new snap any percent world record by Caro, who. So this this run like so the splits on the side then not his, well it's not his PB up to this point as far as I can tell because there was a time on the leaderboards that was done before this which was like a two thirty four something but in either situation somehow in just the last split there was a minute's worth of time save I tried figuring out what happened I don't have a clue the only thing I can tell is it doesn't help that this is all in Japanese. And like Caro is speaking Japanese. The only thing is like Japanese, 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 time loss, Japanese, Japanese. Like he just says time loss. So I got, I'm sorry that I can't give a good explanation, but uh, it is starting to get close to like the 230 that uh, CC Neverender predicted would be kind of like the upper limit uh, for this run, which uh, was a, a fair few podcasts ago at this point when we uh, interviewed him. So. Yeah, congrats to Caro for the two thirty two fourteen. Uh, I think I like, just beat it by like thirty odd seconds the previous world record, and this was like a PB by over two minutes. Then we have well, it's not it's not a it's not a podcast without mystery dungeon any percent no quick save no one the male Japanese Wii U world record holder Shiguma uh, on blue rescue team. Um, Shiguma is just. Absolutely killing it with um, mystery dungeon stuff. I, I think 
I don't think it has all of the records. It definitely has a lot of them though. We've definitely covered them like almost every week, or every month that we've done the podcast. And again, kind of similar to the last one, I believe. It just like, it was just behind for a lot of the time during like the mid section, and then it's just right at the end ends up ahead. And like in this section, I don't I don't know if it's like new strats that have been used, but it's currently using what's known as the warp scarf, which is where you'll notice, or why you might notice, it'll just randomly like the skitty will randomly go from place to place. I think with I think if you take a step, it will automatically warp. Uh, just from watching, from what I've gathered from watching this, so yeah, it's just really interesting how these strats have come into play. Oh, actually, is this war scar? Okay, it might be using war scar. But there is a split. Oh no, I think it's the next split. Yeah, the warp scar split. So yeah, even like up to the second last, no, third last split at this point. Um, like from a minute behind to actually, just point out there's the all the warping and stuff that's happening. Um, ends up being do 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 fifty six seconds after that split. It's just every road it seems, bigger is just pulling it back right at the end, which is I don't know if I could do runs like that. I like my I like how my time save earlier on, personally. I don't know about the rest of you. That this is why I grade so I've swapped to grading splits now. How do you get that? So that like What? How, like do you have to set that up like is like a is something that's done automatically within live split or is that like No, I I, I do it so that the uh, split icon is oh. like, just like a grade. So the I, I, the main reason I did it was because my white two PB had like an insane early game, so I was constantly like thirty seconds behind despite the run still being really good. So I just labeled them all as like A plus. So it's like okay, losing time here is like not a bad thing. Mm. <laughs> which which I guess it would kind of help with that. I, I guess it's a bit different whenever um your time save in the last three splits like this run is is that severe, but. Yeah, but yeah, that's because like I don't know too many other like Pokemon runners. I know the person who I who I knew did that was uh, Talon, uh, Talon two four six one, like the Sonic runner. Mm -hmm. I guess currently in Mario Galaxy two B runner. Yeah, outside of that, I've never really seen people do that. But it does seem it does seem like I should maybe look into doing that. Really, my help. Worcester does graded splits as well. Okay, this is bad. I've never seen. I've never watched Worcester. <laughs> <laughs> We've just been doing greatest splits for ages, bro. Uh, I've just. I've never watched Worcester stream. No, like, Worcester run. It's. I don't know why. It's just I've never have. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so, I, I like it. Yeah, it does seem. It does seem like it could be. Uh, be helpful. But yeah. Congrats to Shigama though with. A mouthful of a of a run world record. Is it like they? It's like it, I don't, I was gonna make a point. I don't even remember the point I was gonna make. It's just, but it's just, all the mystery dungeon speedruns. They're a mouthful to say, and it's kind of fun to say them in a way. But how do you refer to them? It, like is there, it, is there... it, it, it became really funny when, whenever we first started the podcast they didn't have the uh the console split i don't think and i don't think there were japanese categories on src at that point whenever we first started yeah i don't i don't even know if they'd split no wonder mail at that point either goodbye guys i was like back in like 2018 or whatever it was a really long time ago now mm. um yeah, but it it got progressively more difficult to say these names. Yeah, as well at this point is, well, I guess five if you count like the main overall. There's like five different subsections. Like the, yeah, any percent quick save slash no quick save run the mail slash no. Oh, I guess they have a lot of them at the top though at the bar, don't they? I I forget they don't do it like kind of like how we have it in Soul Shield where. We have what like we have the, all the variables within just the one tab, pretty much. Yeah, I I actually haven't looked at those boards in a really long time. The only uh, mystery dungeon boards I pay attention to are Sky, 
because I love Sky, so. I'm Although I'd imagine Sky that. probably has a similar layout. Maybe yeah, I'm just not observant be. enough. Maybe, yeah. Uh... That's highly possible. <laughs> then the last run, though. Last run, the Pokemon Battle Revolution All Battle Passes. Oh, this in game. 50318 by Frozeno. Oh, Frozenos? That, yeah, probably Frozenos. Or Frozeno. Um, this team like, was like the only mistake that was really mentioned by the Pikachu dying to the Wigglytuff. Uh, against Joe in Natalie's uh because Natalie's the battle pass that's being used so in Natalie's gateway uh, gateway section. But it seems like realistic like it was like a good run, but they they're predicting that you can probably get a sub five. Whether they've been pushing for that or not, I don't know. But How could you not? It's battle revolution. It's it's a great game. <laughs> I love I love this game. It's it's a great game. I tried doing runs of it. I could not do runs of this, but it's a great game. <laughs> I, I actually learned like the first R of this game. And then as soon as it, there, there's like one of the stadiums that has like the spinning wheel or whatever. And you have to hit A on what Pokemon you want. Oh, uh, that one. Yeah. I, and then like if the enemy gets like a, what this one random Pokemon, you're just screwed. <laughs> yeah. But... I think it's like a Roselia or something. <laughs> that if, the, if the AI gets that, you're just done for. That just... That sounds familiar, yeah. But like, but this game's great. It is, and like, I don't. I prefer this commentator to like the stadium commentators from my what I've heard. I know that's kind of controversial. That's a take. very unpopular opinion. Yeah, but I don't know. I just like. I like. I like. I just. And also, it's just look at look at the game. <laughs> uh, this is coming. I, I've never played Stadium. Um, none of the stadium game, in fact, like, all the stadium games are older than me, so. <laughs> oh god, yeah, they probably, yeah. But to me, th this is, like, the, I didn't even know stadium games existed for a long time, I just knew Battle Revolution. I just think, I just, like, is this on okay. the Wii? This yes. is on the Wii, it is on the Wii, yes. Um, but every, everyone hates this game and says it's just a bad stadium. It's no, it's it's not a bad stadium. I can understand why people like stadium. Everyone, I guess, loves to try and hit thunder like thunder every like turn. But okay, did Magnet should just miss? Uh oh, okay, double was... team probably. Yeah, okay, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, I was not paying attention yeah. to that bit. But either way, yeah, such a good game. And I might, like, I managed to get people to run this. Even though I hasn't ran it at that time, but still. This and Dash. Dash is also a great run. Everyone should run Pokemon Dash. I, I, I don't own Pokemon Dash. Uh, you should, I you probably would have. You should buy Is Pokemon that not Dash. just Stylus Swiping Simulator? Correct. <laughs> that sounds best experienced on console, actually, instead of winging your mice to buy on emulator. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> That'd be a nightmare. Also, that is a heartbreaking time loss, just saying. Like, what just happened in there? Like, that, yeah. that was like, it would be absolutely horrendous. Yeah, but then also notice that this is also still 13 minutes ahead at this point. Yeah. <laughs> I guess but, like, reason. after four hours, and that happens. I think. Yeah, because, like, this is, like, the final battle of the station. I can imagine this be more. Yeah. A couple of minutes. Really, really rough. Uh... Luckily, the one thing with this, they did put everything nicely into like where it would end. Yeah, like four minutes, like just over four minutes of time loss. But also still being like nine minutes ahead. It's like, yeah, it sucks, but also you're like, you're still pretty far ahead at least. So it's not the you end be, of the world. At least for me, I look back and I'm like, oh, but, but the other four minutes, man, <laughs> give them to me. I think like that, I'm going to for 406 though in shield i don't want to think like that right now <laughs> oh i always think like that that's why i grind everything so much and I'm, I'm trying to not grind anything well i mean i've just not done any runs because of being ill and me when i'm ill i just don't do anything but please like, achieve 406 no because was... diamond really diamonds coming out and i've got i'm gonna focus on that and 
take other people's routes because I'm not good at routing. Right, and then I'll run it. Yeah, I'm gonna get. Well, I'm not gonna get. I'm just gonna take probably etchies or war tabs or educates. I don't know who. I don't know what the route's gonna. Be. That's the thing. You don't know who like what the route is at this point anyway. Except it's probably gonna be Chimchar. But no, to be fair, people said um, Kaza might actually be really good in the remix. I think it was Worcester talking about Kaza could be incredible. Okay, it's been a while. <laughs> Who's that? Like, what's that? Yeah, the, tra the trade of Cadabra, yeah. Okay. Yeah, in Orberg City, you get you trade a matchup for Kaza. To be fair, that would fit like the later generation runs. A lot of them do have it. I well, assuming you know. they've kept like hidden par, so, like sight, uh, like a hidden par really early in the game, you can just like hidden par psychic, like absolutely destroy. I can't wait until him or she's to go into the underground. No, thank you. <laughs> but then that's that's where you're gonna get your main though. No, no dude. <laughs> or I'll like, do that thing that Sword and Shield does and like give you really strong Pokemon down there and just ban you from catching them. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, no, that is actually what is going to happen. That's going to be the case, and then the run is going to be that we're going to have to catch a Pokemon that's like 10 levels higher than us. And I'm going to have to have great preparation. Yeah. That actually probably, that, I would not actually be surprised if that's the case. And with the Elite Four lineup in Sinnoh, I actually wouldn't be surprised if you have to uh, swap mains because the Elite Four in Sinnoh is pretty rough. Mm. I wonder if they're gonna adjust any of the levels. I I would I hope they keep Platinum's um, teams though and don't give Flint like that. Does he not have like a, a Lopany and a Steelix or something? Yeah, I don't know. A lot of the role. A lot of the story fights that they've shown in trailers show that they're using the Diamond Pearl teams. So. No, dude. Yeah. Like, they keep I showing the right like, gym leaders with their, like, aces, and so, like, Walkner has Luxray and stuff like but, that. Uh, what? Is Luxray his ace in Diamond Pearl? Yep. Ugh. Yep. Electivire, no. Yeah, so, it's, it's like, I don't know, it's weird. There's... Most of the trailers have shown Diamond Pearl stuff, and then there's like random Platinum stuff thrown in, so who knows what it'll actually be. Well, hopefully the random Platinum thing is the Battle Frontier. Now, the only Platinum thing is going to be the costumes, and that's it. <laughs> I'm going to be so sad if they just ignore the Battle Frontier. You've no idea. But anyway, moving, that, is, that was the last run. That was the last run. All the other runs for the past two months have been done. So on to the marathon runs and uh, I can... Just so long ago. Yeah, this is so long ago. Yeah, I'll this is a this it. is a fun little ROM hack. Uh Head Bob and I kind of wrote it. Um it's Fire Red, but it's called Fire Red Plus. The difference is Um you have the instant text, uh instant HP bars in battle, and then the sort of like lead into the fights. Um when the Pokemon comes out. It's just instant, so everything just goes like super quick. Um, there's also a way you can change the difficulty. So there's easy mode, normal mode, and challenge mode. Uh, and so, of course, we ran on easy mode because that makes it go so, so super quick. And what we actually did is I had Bob wrote it Squirtle and I wrote it Charmander. Um, and uh, we had a race of that at this marathon and um, we both actually ended up getting runs faster than our pbs but we did do what we do for a lot of races where you have to reload and save um and so because the manip is the same uh, and obviously it's a one in 60 moving target <laughs> um which you, anyone who runs fire red knows what i'm talking about here so it's very tricky to get a starter um and uh, I don't exactly remember ha what happened <laughs> in this race. I know I know Squirtle won, um, and it was pretty close. But uh, yeah, it was pretty fun. We had uh, I don't even remember who was on commentary. I think we had Pickle and on and on on commentary. So it was it was it was a lot of fun um, uh, doing this with uh, with Head Bob. And kind of a fun little sort of random project we did. Uh, there's actually oh, and the other thing that's kind of cool about this is there's a round two, a leap for round two, and in Fire Red, Leaf Green, Normal like Vanilla. You have to catch 60 pokes, but in this game, there's no catch requirements. You can actually go um, blaze through any percent and then just go straight to round two. Or what I did, what I ended up routing, I never really did many runs of it, was you actually just do part of the Sevi Islands before, like you would do anyway in uh, 
in the uh, vanilla version. Oh yeah, there's also a really fast bike you can see here as well. So it's like the mock bike, but no acceleration. So that's fun. And because that's not the only and thing you do that no glitch is a wild date, right? Yes. Yeah, so immediately after the fire red race, so every time I submit a run runs to these marathons, uh, when I do multiple runs, they put me back to back. I like to, <laughs> I should ask them to put me on separate days, but it's all good. Uh, this is a real. I, we talked about this, I think, in an earlier podcast. It's a fire red hack called Dreams. Um, probably one of the best ROM hacks I've played. Um, there's a lot of content. It's not like you don't get the feeling like you have just a ton of stuff thrown at you, and like being given like tons and tons of mandatory fights and all this nonsense and the difficulty is relatively reasonable the early game is really rough um, you do start with an EV um, and the EV is always shiny so as you can see I have a slimy green Espeon um, and um, yeah this run was pretty good um, if you go back to about an hour into the into the run um, I ran into some difficulty on a specific fight and I died like six times, and I, I had Garf on commentary. It's actually later than this. Uh, it might be an hour was... ten. Oh, hour ten. Nope, before that. I was about to say, did Garf not run this? And I literally saw him on the uh, the virtual couch. <laughs> it's, later, it's later than this. It's about five minutes after this. Yeah, Garf, I had Garf on commentary, actually. Uh, so Garf initially routed this with um, Leafy on. And so actually the thing about this game is you there's um, reverse inverse battles on. So normal type moves are super effective on steel and rock, for example. So that makes Eevee actually viable. Um, you wouldn't be able to do this run with normal uh, type chart. And then Espeon, and Le especially Leafeon, benefits a lot from the inverse battles as well. Grass is actually super good uh, in inverse battles. Um, I ended up routing Espeon after Garf routed Leafeon, and we determined that Espeon's probably faster. Um, and we were going to actually do this for the PSR Marathon, but that was uh, that was cancelled. So I submitted this to another Marathon instead, and had Garf on commentary. We actually had the game, uh, the ROM hacker who made this game, uh, she was on commentary as well. So uh, we had a lot of fun uh, talking about kind of what went into making this game, and... Uh, and a lot of the strats that Garf and I found uh, were kind of funny to, to kind of show off because she found them quite funny. There's some really funny skips later on. This way in particular, we actually ended up, I ended up dying multiple times. I don't remember the exact reason, but we ended up we ended up routing an, a workaround on stream <laughs> while I was dying multiple times. Uh, so that was kind of annoying. But yeah, I think this Luxio, you, you get paralyzed, and if you, you're low on paralyzed heals, you're just, just over. So not a fun fight. Anyway, I recommend anyone, everyone check this game out. It's a lot of fun. Um, so uh, yeah, I think that's about it. From I don't want to go on. I could go. I could keep going on, but I think I think I'm good. All right, then move on to UKSG also in 2021. Cruel with trading card game. Any percent? No ace. 18 34 time. Seems solid. This is a game it's, that you it's can one those help runes things. on. Yeah, you... Oi, <laughs> what was the thing for me saying? I want to run a game that I don't know what's happening or something like that. Like, like uh, it's like... impossible to watch. Like, yeah, if, if you've never seen it before. I've never even played this game, so I literally have no clue what's going on. Yeah, it's. But I, th I think ultimately it's a, like what's happening is that anytime Cruel goes into a fight, based on the result of the previous one, which. It should be a win. It's like basically like a button combination or something that effectively causes it to be an instant win. And that's just a repeated process. I love instantly winning. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. This is the speed run for you. If I can figure out what's going on, then maybe. Just run just run it at ten percent speed and then it might be fine. Maybe. Then maybe able to read quick. at least a few of the inputs, yeah. Yes, maybe. <laughs> this isn't even, that's not even the fastest category, right? Because that's no ace, and I think. Oh, yeah, yeah I so remember. Yeah. Faster, yeah, with yeah. ace, it's like just a couple minutes. Ace was shown off for the first time on this podcast, actually. That's cool. All right, yeah. All right, and then Japanese Mountain here, Long Speedrun Summit 2021. 
uh, Shigama with Explorers of Sky and he percent no one in the mail Wii U Japanese with a 4.45.47 time ends up being. Um, again, not too knowledgeable about the Mystery Dungeon runs, but like, just again, like with Japanese runs, oh, like, and like the marathons and stuff, they, they seem to be gathering, like, so many people seem to be watching them. Which, and I never know, I don't know if that's always been a thing, but it just seems like, because again, like with RTA in Japan having like 40k viewers for like, the uh, Sword Shield speedrun, I don't know how many this had, I'll be honest, but. I don't know, it's just, yeah, I it's think just cool. It's just cool. Big. What was that? Sorry, I actually didn't hear that. <laughs> uh, I think a lot of these things are like pretty big in Japan, like like speed running in general. I think is like a pretty popular thing. Yeah, and like I think I remember when it's Midwest Speed Fest, like when we talked about it on the last podcast, just actually may point out that like the Japanese restream had like. I think it had more than the original restream, like the original stream. Yeah. And it's just like the Japanese crowd turns up. Yeah. I, I, I think part of it too is probably because I think I might be mistaken just because I only really know the ones that we cover on the podcast, but they probably don't have um, as many Japanese like events as we do um, in the English speaking community. Like, especially if you think back maybe five years the number of marathons and whatnot that we have now is like probably 10 times as many as we used to. You can probably find some sort of speedrunning marathon happening every weekend. And I wouldn't be surprised if like the Japanese community doesn't have that and ends up having, you know, a lot more focused, you know, attention on these different events or restreams. So they end up with more viewers. Yeah. Either that or... It could also be the case that they all have it based on like the, on the Japanese sites, and I just yeah. don't find them. That is also possible, cause, but it it does seem like at least, uh, because a lot of the Japanese, like you'll you'll find them on I mean, guess every now and then, but it's typically on Hararo. There still be like maybe one or two at most. Uh, Japanese compared to like n times more maybe for like English ones. And there's like a few like French and Portuguese stuff like that, but like mostly yeah, it's just typically like so many more English marathons. So maybe that is maybe that is the case. A lot of them, all like the more Japanese ones are like more focused, and hence why they end up having a lot more viewers. Um, but. Going to the Australian PAX, this is, yeah, the Oz Speedruns Cross PAX Oz 2021 online. I think this was intended originally to be in person, but then uh, increased cases in Australia with COVID, ended up pushing it online. But this one's uh, JT Magic Man uh, with uh, Omega Ruby 80%, Ruby 23.58. There was also Aspect with Let's Go Pikachu Eevee. Um, I think it was Pikachu uh, with a 307.14, which I believe was the first Dawson skip. skip. Yes. In yep. the marathon, at least. And then there's also Worcester with White 2 Pokemon World Tournament, which when I watched it, it just seemed it seemed like six. Was it like is it like six hours of just? Pretty much, like, yeah. It's yeah. like six hours of the World Tournament. Or even his and he had the most just... insane world tour. Like he had the, the worst pre world tournament like ever. I didn't think he was gonna get his uh ten R estimate. And he had like the best world tournament that he's ever had in a run and he got underestimate. Yeah, got a nine fifty eight twenty eight. What is after the world tournament? Because I've never played white two. There's different uh, type like fights, right? You have to have a certain type poke or they have certain types. Yeah, th there's a lot of um, different criteria that a lot of them have. Like there's uh, like there, there's always like the world turn like the the actual things are called worlds, and then there's the specific type ones where you have to use Pokemon of that typing. Um, 
and then I, I don't actually know if Worcester does like the, there's like the the Unova League with like all the Unova ones like the the gym leaders and the Sinnoh and the Kanto ones and all them, um, and like the thing is he doesn't manipulate like the lineups of things he can come up against. You can do it, uh, and you can manip like exactly the sets that you're gonna come up against. It's just not worth doing. Which just adds a, like a heap more randomness into it because you've no idea what fights you're going to come up against. Um, but the writing behind World Tournament is very, very cool. Like you manipulate like um, a Dragonite and like the hidden grottos and stuff. Like it's, it's so, so cool. It actually does sound cool to be fair. So is that what you're going to get me to run it? As if... <laughs> I mean, you've run everything else in Y2, right? Is there only actually any percent in white two, or is there? No, there's a minute and there'll be a glitch list. I'm guessing, but uh, no, there, there's more. challenge mode as well. But oh yeah, there are any percent and challenge mode, both of which I've done. But I'll do world tournament then. World tournament is a very long run, <laughs> e like easily over ten hours for a first run. Like I, I do not have the time to sit and do that <laughs> all right just get some snacks put them next to you it's fine get some water <laughs> i have water next to me right now actually i should be just halfway be doing there. world tournament right now yeah halfway there you just need some snacks but yeah yeah ignoring is... like the 20 plus minips that i need to make first <laughs> fine. <laughs> it's fine it's <laughs> fine uh the this is uh, Speedrun Ragnarok 2021. Uh, this is Let's Go Pikachu 8%. Uh, leggy. I don't know if it. It's, just, it's, just, it's probably leg, Leggy Star Scream. No capital letters. Yeah. That makes it very difficult for me to figure out. But this was a. It was a 329 flat. Uh, there was also RDA with Rumble Complete the Game Any Percent. With a. It was a 138.17. It was Bemi Esports with Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team. No quick save, no wonder mail. I'm going to assume English on, on some console. I did not put it down. Uh, or that it was not in the thing. Uh, the game was mean. Uh, the game was just mean in the end. Fortunately for that run though. And then finally there was Dijon Ketchup versus, uh, versus Corvin May. With Sword Shield, Trade Alt Main, Race, Sylveon versus Vantine. And... Uh, Dijon finished with a 455.53 and then May finished with a 4.12.04. Uh, I think Sylveon has some, like, there's some sections which can be awful. Because it's a marathon, everything decided to be mean, I'm going to guess. And then last but not least, and this was last night, yeah, this was last night. Uh, TGH, uh, TGH doing blue any percent no save corruption. I believe this is like the old route. Yeah, this um, is basically like no manips. So the, yeah. the old go to saffron. Yeah. Double missing no, all that stuff. Does current no save corruption do broke through rolls? Or... No. No, everything is done in Verdian Forest. But yeah. this is, was it 1920? 1920 is a, a pretty good time. Yeah. For this route, so. This was technically the first half of the speed that I learned before I got to like the second half of this and never never tried this like four years ago before I started doing speedruns. <laughs> this is a really fun route. Yeah, it looked so fun to try. It's like, oh this is great. And then there's like a minip like there's like a I had to do like something frame perfect or something. I don't know what it was. But there was, there was something that had, like that just made me like, nope, too much effort. <laughs> Oh, it's probably the trainer fly, like, actually pausing in front of the trainer instead of getting seen. Yeah, it was probably, yeah, it might have been that. Either way, though, there, there was something, and it was, that, that was a nope for, like, 17-year-old me, maybe. So this is actually really <laughs> long, because this was before university, and now I've just realized how long ago that was. Oof. All right, well, now I feel old. Um... Marathon's coming up. <laughs> Speaking of feeling old, I saw something today where it was like the the PS or I saw it the other day 
the I PS3, think I know what you're gonna say. Don't say this. <laughs> yeah, PS3 is closer to the Super Nintendo release than it is to today, like the release of the PS3. Oof. And the the part that killed me with that is the Super Nintendo. I think was released the year I was born, which means the PS3 is closer to when I was born than now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> which I don't like. <laughs> When did the PS3 come out? Oh my god, I was three whenever that came out. Yep, it's 2006. Yep, I was three years old. Oh, wow. Well, what's interesting as well, just to also make people feel old, there's people who do speedruns now that are younger than the DS. I don't like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, that's a sentence. That is correct, sadly. Anyway. Uh, I don't fall into that category. I nearly do, but... <laughs> Eternally 14-year-old Skoa. <laughs> that meme is never gonna die, dude. So, Marathon's coming up. This is uh, the first one. Uh, Speed Gaming Live 2021. Uh, RDA with Rumble and you percent no passwords. This is at 9am in the UK. Um, because it's on the 7th, this will actually be a 5 hour difference now because the clocks go back an hour, yes. Yep. They go back an hour in North America at the very least. Uh, the rest of the world does their own thing. Um, so yeah, that is the other one for this marathon. Then with Fast Furs Fall Fest from Twister there 2021. Mushroom Soda with Pokemon Channel single console. 13th oh my god, of November. Channel. Yes, Channel. Wow. That's why I had to mention this. It's channel. <laughs> Someone actually playing Pokemon Channel. This is the world record holder for Channel single console. Oh my console, god. Which was set like four years ago, it turns out. <laughs> which... Oh my, I, I yeah, because the Pokemon Channel used to be like a meme here because of the um, SRC background. And I, I'm pleased to announce it's still what it was three years ago. So, <laughs> all right, Aaron, let's uh, Pokemon Channel. Me Amiibo used to joke about this so. Oh much. God! <laughs> oh, this is something. <laughs> the it's only... been like that ever since. The only thing I know about Channel is you basically can't put your videos up on YouTube because they'll get dmca'd <laughs> really really yeah because like it uses actual like anime clips or something and so you end up getting like copyright oh, wow. striked huh. interesting yeah yeah i don't know to, that i can't wait to find like the second ones just on youtube yeah, twitch they try three is enough that, that's <laughs> This is too much now. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> so that is on the 13th of November at 10 past 3 in the afternoon. Uh, we have Questing for Glory, Hope and, uh, Hope and Healing 2, Primal Pizza uh, with Red Any Percent Glitchless Classic. Also on the 13th, uh, but at uh, 2337. So. Nice like, specific time. Yes, very specific time, but hey, I mean, Neo 2's at 2152, what are you going to do if it's how, it's how it is? Dang it, dude. Uh, then after that, there is a lot of Pokemon runs at RNG-a-thon. Uh, Shifty, uh, Shifty with Red Glitch was blindfolded on the 20th at uh, just before half six in the morning. Uh, there is... Razor, uh, Razor Flame Kun, uh, with Puzzle Challenge Easy to Intense. Uh, I assume that means doing all of them. Uh, also on the 20th at uh, 3 past 5 in the afternoon. Uh, RDA doing Rumble Weekend Edition. Complete the game any percent. Uh, on the 21st of November at 3.53 in the morning. Definitely not watching that, I'm sorry. Uh, and then why not Jordan uh, I don't even what is, is the 21st uh, a Sunday right uh, the 21st is yeah, a Sunday yes yes 
Yeah, definitely not. Well, actually, I might be awake. <laughs> I'm going to sleep there. Um, but then there's also RDA later on in the day, though I assume it'll be the next day for them. Uh, with Rumble any percent. Not the weekend edition, just normal any, uh, just normal Rumble. Any percent, no passwords on the 21st of November at 9 past 5 in the afternoon. And then last but not least, really, really long a thon 5. Uh, starting off with um, Mozzarella Cheese with Super Mystery Dungeon, any percent, no in the mail on the 1st of December at 2 in the afternoon. And then going all the way to the 4th of December, which I scrolled past. A treaty with a Poke Park 2 All Friends run uh, at, so on the 4th of December at 22 past 1 in the afternoon. Uh, Kefka 14 with a Snap 100% uh, on the same day, a little later, at just before 8 in the evening. And then finally, Shifty with. Crystal Custom, uh, Crystal Custom Starter, uh, Alakazam Blindfold, also on the same day, it's back to back to back Pokemon, Pokemon block right there, uh, on the 4th of December at, uh, oops, sorry, that was there, uh, 37 uh, minutes past 8. And that is all the upcoming marathons that I could find. So, I'm going to actually have Skoa talk about this bit though, because... Since it's been two months since the last podcast, the uh, Diamond Pearl 15th anniversary oh God, stuff. Was like, that was nearly two months ago, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> I did not know that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so this was the GDQ hotfix for the Diamond and Pearl um, anniversary that was coming up and chucked in some platinum glitching exhibition just, just for good measure. So um, really funnily, actually, this was... I was asked to do this the day before this happened. Uh, it was initially just going to be Etchy doing it, but Etchy's internet was messing up, and I got like a DM from Knox like the day before, being like, "Yo, Etchy need you in a stream." And Etchy was like, "Oh yeah, can you do this GDQ hotfix?" I was like, "Okay, why not?" I was watching that then. I was, like, I was there watching it. I was there watching that when that happened. Were you? Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, "Yeah, okay, sure, why not?" Um. So yeah, this was. Uh, Diamond and Pearl, any percent. Uh, I did it with Manip, and then did uh, the glitching exhibition for Platinum, uh, and then afterwards, Etchy did the Diamond and Pearl Manipless, uh, right? Which was, uh, you know, it's a fair bit different from Manip. Um, but yeah, uh, it was actually really, really fun to do. Um, I, I was really, really out of practice for it um didn't like have like any time to prepare but no it was still really fun to do and diamond and pearl is a um a really really good category and i'm, I'm happy that a gen 4 category is uh getting some love at gdq because it is before this it had been an exceptionally long time since any gen 4 game had appeared at any gdq event i think um no, I mean, Etchy, Etchy had Platinum the year before, actually. Etchy yeah. had Platinum the year before, but then it was like Heart Gold Soul Silver in 2017. Was yeah, by year. Keys. was like the last time it happened. Yeah. So I, I'm happy that uh, Gen 4 is getting some love at GDQ. Yeah. It's been, it's been a very, very long time. It, like, it's not an event, but I think Etchy's done some hot fix stuff as well with Diamond Pearl, maybe. Or Platinum. Bird Root is like it was Bird Root, I think. Like I'm saying, potentially, I don't know. Yeah, but like, yeah, it's not like an event thing, but yeah, yeah. I mean, but Gen Four in general doesn't get um much love at events, uh, primarily because it's a very, very hard generation to do at events. Yeah, I mean, you have to have so much, especially particularly Platinum, much more so than Diamond and Pearl. Uh, because you can't manip poker us and diamond. Well, you can't realistically manip poker us and diamond and pearl, um, where it's kind of integrated into platinum. So you have to worry about that a lot more. Uh, so it's kind of harder to do at events. But uh, uh, yeah, it, it's a very, very, it's a notoriously difficult generation to do, even just with normal runs. Never mind at an event. 
yeah, I mean, I guess if it's been so long, well, actually, wait, I get, when did you say Edgy did something again? Last year. Oh, okay. But before that, it was like 2017 with Keys. Uh, fair enough, that's, I was going to say, if it had been 2017 with Keys, then I wouldn't be surprised that it wasn't in this upcoming one, which I guess I should point out, did mention the GZ Hurons that have been put forward because they technically would be on the next podcast. Of how I how I set it up. But yeah, uh, congrats to Wartab to truly for the ORS race. And then it's to Prism, Shen, and Keys for what what is it? It's some it's some it's key, key iron randomizer. Yeah, key, yeah. Yeah, key iron randomizer. Which a bit like be fair, I, I would like because how GDQ seems to be doing things now, it's uh, something later and then something earlier. I couldn't think of anything what they would do for earlier generations. So that's, this actually makes a lot of sense because the yeah, item random, like key item randos, are pretty popular. Yeah, and they they took actually, if you look at like the rest of the schedule, there's quite a lot of randomizers and stuff on the list. So I'm surprised by how many races there are this year. There's a lot there's of so races on the lineup. Maybe everyone just submitted races. <laughs> I didn't submit any races. <laughs> I I su I submitted a race. Uh like I think it was a get us free race. Yeah, well it was a get us free race with conception. I don't know, it's just it, it just makes sense to do races, I think. People it, it might just be where things are kinda of bad at the moment. I don't know. It's fun. It's fun to do things with other people. But yeah, that's not the only thing that was uh, kind of done for the 15th anniversary, uh, just in general. What did the DS Discord do, Skoa? <laughs> we had a Diamond and Pearl celebration day, really, uh, where there were basically loads and loads of people uh, doing Diamond and Pearl any percent, mainly uh, any percent manipulous. For pretty much the entire day, there were races of that category every three hours. Uh, and like the, I, I think like Worcester in particular, like just sat and did like 10 back to back races or something of that category. Um, like people were playing that so, so much. Um, now, and one of the reason like the, the hotfix was actually really good for this was to bring people in to the DS community for the event. Uh, the the 15th anniversary event um uh it was it was really good i actually didn't participate in any of the races i had class for like most of that day so <laughs> i didn't do like anything for that despite the fact i was going to grind for ages um but it was really cool to see so many people um running a previously really really quiet category like no one really talks about diamond and pearl any percent much no one really talks about diamond and pearl much anymore anyway um but it's really cool to see so many people band together and go at the category because it, it is a really really fun category um especially if you mess about with hidden par and all that as well yeah because i know i know a few people who take to it for like the first time like a couple of days before so they could do the races yeah uh, I think there were quite a few. Like, uh, Swift was one of the ones that she she picked it up pretty close to the thing to do a few of the races, and and Amoeba did it as well. I think. Yeah. He picked up the category. But it, it, it was it was nice to see so many people doing it. It's it's such a good category. Like even though the events are all well past now, I still highly recommend that people play Diamond and Pearl any percent or just Gen Four in general. Everyone should play Gen 4. Yeah, because, like, do you have emulators are on the main board as well, so you don't even have to worry about like, yeah. getting DS capture card, which is a nightmare to be fair. Like, like, oh, DS capture is abysmal <laughs> to try and get a hold of. It's so difficult. I've actually yeah. been tempted to get a second capture card just out of fear that my one breaks or something. That's. I have two 3DS captures for that reason. Yeah. See, the thing is, though, Gen 5 minutes based on the MAC address. Yeah, no, that's... 
That's rough. And it'd be kind of annoying. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's some pretty cool stuff that happened like almost two months ago at this point. Yeah, and everyone's that... celebrating Diamond and Pearl. Brilliant, as it should be. Brilliant, like brilliant diamond. Right, Pearl. <laughs> All right. I, I think you need to calm down a bit there. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's uh This is a. Uh, this is like because yeah, that, that like. I don't know if you should be talking. Do we have the ball set up for that yet? Ah, <laughs> uh, I'd imagine uh, probably not. Like, I mean, I, this is more to etiquette. I probably should have asked. I just said etiquette. Like, do you know the the BDSP boards? Yeah. Not yet. All right. They speedrun.com doesn't like let you set a release date for the future. Right. So like we can probably do it, but we'd have to change the release date. But either way, like we'll probably do some sort of embargo on runs just so yeah. we can figure out categories and stuff, just in case there's it should be pretty straightforward. Just given that it's a remake and the originals are fairly straightforward, but Yeah. It is tweaking there, though. <laughs> yeah. Tweaking, tweaking would be interesting. Um, highly doubt a game split would happen just because of how the originals are. But uh, no. I guess Turbo will be discussed in terms of category extensions again. But all that all depends. Yeah. Like, depends how many people do Turbo from the beginning. I guess. She could see a game split here, you know. I, I think realistically it probably could. It to I, me it depends on if like if it's just the legendary, I see it sort of like how Sapphire and Ruby are. Where it's like, eh, whatever. Suck one of them in category extensions and be done with it. Yeah, but if if, if it's more like like Sword and Shield are different mostly because well, partially because mm -hmm. of the gym leader, but also because like Growlithe isn't available early in Sword. Uh, you, you can't do the same route with Ninetales and Dagskadrill, so it's uh, uh, if yeah. there's some version exclusive that's the new main, then that would be probably cause for splitting. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, like, as my own perspective. Personally, I don't think it should be based on anything related to Rue. I think it should be based specifically within the game. So, like, Sword Shield. They have different gym leaders that to me makes sense to have a split if it's if it like if it's pretty much the same game it's just the legendary and then a few version exclusives to be they'd be the same but i mean also like it's not a hill i'm gonna die on <laughs> i'm happy having as many split like split leaderboards because it gives me and it gives me a reason to buy both yeah like i i personally really like split leaderboards for things yeah purely because it gives me more stuff to run like it gives yeah me i do like that as well i don't i well, know one of the arguments against it is like oh there's like too many world records and stuff like that it's like that part doesn't even really matter to me it's just it's, yeah. it gives you an incentive to actually run it also best case and oh not best case because of like, the situation is technically a terrible situation but if you look at uh life of sword and shield I can't run swords on one point two because I keep thinking about pre one point two. If I have shield, I had shield right. there to move to. I had no pre skull days. I could just run that. It was to me. It's like it's such a dumb thing. I admit. I admit it's a dumb thing to think, but like, it just felt better for me to run because I didn't have anything in the past to compare it to, which I know is just guaranteed to be quicker. <laughs> Even if, like, oh, like in most cases, still. Be quicker unless i really grinded it that's like a, a little nice thing for me but that's such a niche thing you can't really predict in the beginning at least anyway. it's a very strange outlook <laughs> yeah i know it, it's a it's a weird outlook but i think well either way there'll be a variable like a variable will be introduced so it's also it's not like it's a hassle either way to, but like for it to be done later or to like to change it to, so they're separate or to change them to have them together It'll, it'll be a variable, I assume. We won't have it where it's like two different tabs. Yeah. Or main tabs. So. It'll start. That's how Sword and Shield started. It started just as a variable. Oh, yeah, it did. Wait, did it? Yep. I don't know if I was it's, there at that point. It started as a variable and it was pretty quick to 
we had a vote to split it, but that's how it started. Huh. Um, same thing with right. like Let's Go. Let's Go started as a variable and ended up getting split. Yeah. Yes, Cooker is just like Cooker did one prior to this that he didn't have like didn't know too much outside of Gen three stuff. So we have been yeah like chatting away and not really bringing Cooker in, which I do apologize. That's fine. Like I just can't really contribute much past Gen three. Like I can't even Gen one and Gen two. It's just I only know Gen three honestly. Yeah, just here for the insane ramblings of I guess what. Oh, like, like, all the hosts are in Gen 8 now. Let's go, now that Sko is not technically a host. Yep. I've been and demoted. You have been demoted. <laughs> How's it feel? Unfortunately. Absolutely heartbreaking. Oh. I mean, to be fair, you, you've got other stuff that's going on, so. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Just a clarification, I did not get kicked out. <laughs> no. Yeah, Sko was not kicked out. Um if he was if he was kicked out, well Yeah, we still don't actually think we don't take I, best time to may as well just throw out there. Anyone who's like knows anything about DS runs, feel free to let us know if you want to be on the podcast as a host. Cause uh Sko, Sko is our main knowledge of source there, or main source of knowledge there. I don't know anything about the DS runs. Uh, Edica Iron. Neither do I. No. <laughs> I haven't. Simply DS learn them all and run them all. Uh. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I, I learned black and I was like even doing offline runs of black. And then I looked in the Discord and everyone was like, hey, there's a Lily Pup route now. And I'm like, I don't want to learn this game anymore. <laughs> I, I remember you <laughs> learning. I, I remember you posting on Twitter and everything about the Elisa fight with Pig Knight. Yep. Yep. It was like literally like the week after it was, oh, here's Pup Route now. And I'm like, damn it, I don't want to learn the game again. Because <laughs> you have to make a new Maniv as well at that point. Yeah, you have to get one for Pop and you actually swap the Snivy. You don't even use Tepeg at all on the current route. Oh. Yeah, that's, yeah. I don't blame you, Edeka. And pop art can be changed even more, but I, again, I, I could talk for a very long time <laughs> about that. But yeah, I mean, it's already it's already been two hours at this point. I've just looked. <laughs> I didn't realize just been talking away on specific on different things. It's very fun, easy to ramble about. It is very stuff. easy to ramble. It's been fun. And we did I'm have gonna... a month off too, so yeah, true. That is, a, yeah, this is a face. Yeah, it's two past casts, in which case, one good, one good time. But, um, yeah, either I don't know, etiquette. My voice is still bad. I'm gonna let you do the leaderboard roundup. Just say whichever ones you want to say, I guess. Yeah, we won't read them all out, but we can go through some of the uh, some of these runs here. So, yeah, well, for red blue, we have. Not much in like top top end, but the even like top 20, 30, even top 40 in this game is sub 150 almost now. So in fact, it is that's which is pretty crazy. Uh, when I ran this game like four or five years ago, I had like a 156 and it was like 60th or 70th. And now it's like 140th or something. <laughs> so it's yeah. uh, there's been a lot of people running this game, which is really great, really great. It's the tournament's still going on. I don't actually know. No, I think <laughs> it's, it's finished. Who won? <laughs> Cho uh, shows I how don't remember their name, but it wasn't, it wasn't like one of the, someone you'd expect, I think. It was uh, not one of the newcomers. Yeah, it was, um, I don't know how to say the name. It's like Vidgematic. Oh, oh, really? Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't That's know cool. how to say it. I just butchered that. I apologize. But they, they ended up winning. Uh, Huangbro was, I think, like, Poised to win, but the PP was messed up in the champion fight. Uh, I had to blizzard the Venusaur and it didn't die. Yikes. I think I remember seeing that. I don't watch Red, so I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, neither do I. I avoid Gen 1 like the plague. <laughs> I will just to point out, Econ Sean, I think they started really recently, so the fact they've managed to get up to 28. 
That was very impressive in my eyes. Yeah, sorry. Anyway. Yeah, he's doing really good with that game for sure. Yeah, so uh, guys, moving on. A few people playing Classic, which is glitchless without polka doll skip. You have to do the rocket hideout, no instant text, no manips. This is a lot of people Just... playing pla Classic. Ooh, is there like oh, a yeah. tournament or something? Like, holy moly. I don't think there is. There's some races, I think, but I don't okay. know what the where, where the interest came from in general. But that's awesome to see, though. One lane in chat. See you six. See you six there, one lane. A few people doing NFC. Nothing top top end, but still some solid solid efforts here. Uh, five up, uh, returning to yellow, or going to being yellow. That's cool. I, I... He's, he's, he's been in the community for a long time, if I recall correctly, yeah. so... Well, yeah. He's former uh, Alpha Sapphire World Record holder at this point now as well. Yep. Five up, uh, I think, either had or was a minute off of the... Because we did in-game time back then. It was either tied for or a minute off of the yellow record when I started in 2013. So it's actually really cool to see him come back to the game. You started in 2013, I like it? I did. Oh my goodness. When I started, the red record was in-game time 154. And it was held by like four different people. <laughs> <laughs> I always forget how long everyone has been around for. Yep. Also say, from like the few times I've started with Five Upper, one of the nicest people. Been really nice. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> He's definitely a great guy, yeah. Yeah. yeah some TCG. Some glitchless here as well. Uh, fourth place, the Jaffa Man. I don't actually know what the top time is in here, so I'm not uh, sure exactly how that a, compares, but. Uh, it's, TCG's weird, I think. Let me, uh, let me see if this goes on to. It's it's something like a lot of the times it automatically hits, and I think, I think a lot did a lot of them. Pull... Yeah, it's oh wait no it's okay it's the other way around. So these are the, uh, that's the technical world record because all like most of them just do no tutorial, but that's technically not. Any percent or something is. That that's makes no case. sense. <laughs> yeah, it makes no sense. I don't understand it, which is probably why I shouldn't ex try and explain this. But the, it's like technically the world the world record is like fifty five minutes, but it's really just that one. <laughs> Forty six ten. So the fact that like sub fifty, pretty close in a game that goes at lightning. Actually, I don't know if this category goes at lightning speed. Probably does. Probably does. Yeah. So, pretty good, I'd assume. That's still very good, I assume. Yep, got some snap. We talked about Quo with the Wii U virtual console record as well. Uh, moving on, Stadium, a little bit of activity there. Gold Silver, top 10, Nerdy Nerd, 317. Uh, see two, not too much activity. Ruby Sapphire, we have well, we have a new emulator record on Ruby Sapphire by On and On, and I think the second best time in an emulator is like significantly slower because uh, most people play on console. Yeah, we have a quick Could be wrong. Though. Yes, that yeah, was from five years minutes. ago. Yeah, I get, again, it's part. I assume it's just because it's part of the split emulator, but then, yeah, no one really ran it on the emulator prior. Actually, like, Kuka, do you plan to run this? No, I, <laughs> I don't really see any appeal in Sapphire. To be honest, I think Emerald would be the run to go for, but I just don't have time to learn it at the moment. Etika, didn't you learn Sapphire? It's a hot game as well. 
Um, sort of. Uh, I, I did a thing where I basically ran like Sapphire and Diamond and Pearl for about two weeks each, and it was during my grand plan to do like a an all gens run, and then I never actually did it. I do want to come back to it at some point. I actually, just set my Game Boy back up, my uh, Game Boy player back up, to potentially do some stuff. There was even a time when I tried to learn Sapphire, and it was a mistake. Hey, well, there's the Abra right now. That's true. That Which is, is true. better, apparently. I don't know. I haven't looked at the game since that's existed. It's that damn wing on minute, which I know I didn't need to do, but I need I wanted to get it and then that was a terrible mindset. I would not get it. <laughs> ever. Oh. I don't know if you're gonna point it out, but I'm just gonna quickly call out uh Catch Jirachi, second place with Serpent. Four thirty six. Amoeba's sweating. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I had to put I had to point that one out. Of course. Oh, we got no snags second for Byrizikin. That was from September, so maybe we talked about that already. Uh or maybe not, no. No, we no it would be no. It would, no, it would be, yeah. Any day with September and October and I guess November as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Fire Leaf Green, we talked about Poke Guy and Cooker with records on respective platforms. Not too much activity with this game at this point, but kind of has its highs and lows throughout the year. There's probably going to be a tournament again at that point. The activity will pick up a bit more. Yeah, has there been any talk for that? Uh, does anyone know? Uh, nothing, nothing too seriously, no. Cause it, wouldn't, okay. it wouldn't happen for a few months now yet, so. Uh, ignore Shivu's, I guess. <laughs> I wonder if it was like something that was adjusted. Yeah, that was verified really late. Yeah, that I think it was probably just something was edited. Uh, for some reason, I don't know what though. And that's the, that's end, the one there's thing. There's a top emulator time as well, two thirty-seven. Keeping it easy. Congrats. Little bit on XD as well. Fifth place, thirty. Uh, a mystery dungeon. Red blue is team quite a bit. Um, there's lots of different categories, but quite a lot of activity here as well, and nothing really stands out. I'll Second take place, them. I guess, muscle yeah. cheese. We did we talk about that? I'm not sure if we did. Uh, we did not talk about that. Uh, cheese. The uh, thing we mentioned for cheese was the marathon run that was coming up. Mm -hmm. So yeah, didn't didn't mention that. So a, a two thirty two oh eight there in. 80%, no quick save, no one to mail, English. But we did talk about Shiguma. Ooh. Sorry, I just, Ranger, it just catches my... I, I don't know why, it's always, it's always the side games that catch my eye. <laughs> I don't know if it's nostalgia because I do love the... I, I do love a lot of the side games, even if I don't really run them. It's your calling to run only side games. <laughs> I mean, hey, I run Colo. <laughs> I've done one XC run now. I tried running Shadows of Almia, but I made a bad mistake. Which turns out, by the way, save. Always save. Because if you don't save, it will just go back to the previous save point. Uh -huh. So if you never save, that's the run done. <laughs> At least for Shadows of Almia. But they are they are a great game. game. I guess I also like games that destroy your DS. Well, because you like dash. Yeah. 
80% English Wii U, second place for Luton, V0806. Um, I'll, let, I'll let you go back to it, Ian. Sorry. Ranger. Side games that catch my eye. <laughs> <laughs> That's all good. Yeah, lots of activity with uh, Evan and Pearl. Well, we talked about a lot these runs already, but uh, some solid times. Both 80% and 80% glitchless. Is, does Manipolis have its own category? or? That's, That's on the category. Extensions, it's extensions yeah. yeah. Ah, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. That would be it. Battle Revolution Whom with second place, 334. Uh, more Mystery Dungeon, Halkery, third place in No Wonder Mail. Which uh, language platinum. and console? <laughs> gotta, gotta say the full one. <laughs> oh, DS, 3DS, yeah. And English. Um, yeah, at Platinum, we had Tucker, fourth place, 342. All the time. And uh, two emulator runs as well. Wait, I'm any percent glitches and any percent. I've just noticed the comment for Tucker's run. Just the link to the hard times on net, such opinion, such opinion, fuck birds. Uh, yeah, no every idea. single bird in his run was like really bad. Like, like all the star areas and like stuff, like they were all like absolutely terrible. Uh, he lost so much time to just the birds. Fair, fair play. Oh. So we find an article that shares his opinion. Uh, <laughs> oh, but what's the any percent time on console? Uh, at platinum any percent? Yeah, platinum any percent. Uh, 240, uh, 49. Okay. I, 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 yeah. I just know that off the top of my head. <laughs> so there's still a bit of difference between emulator and console. Hold on, we'll go for Prab. The emulator, um, run by Prab actually used a different route. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, and because because I have the record for platinum many percent, um, I still use double tenta. Um, Prab uses a save and quit gold dock, which is technically quicker, um, not by the largest margin, but it is technically ever so slightly faster than what I was doing in my run. Uh, a couple of runs on Mystery Dungeon, Explorers of Sky. Uh, Rumble up there on Rumble. A little bit on Heart Gold as well, fifth place. Alwo. 338. Tucker did a run on Emulator, that's interesting. 347, got the best time. Boca Park. We talked about that one, did we, or did we not? Uh, actually, I don't think I did. Oh, I don't think I put it in. But I think, I think there was a reason why I didn't put it in. I don't remember the reason though. But it's it's, it's not like the runs invalid or anything. It's that there, there was just there would have been something. Probably I just forgot. I'm gonna try. Oh, actually, wait, no. Is it, it might be the case that I think Whom has a faster time that's not on the board. That's why he didn't put it on technically, even though that's a dumb reason. That might be the reason. I don't know. I don't remember what the me, like the me of a month ago was thinking. But the current current me forgot about the run definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Well, congrats for Avery, who's been on the podcast before as well. A 
I'm Bull, seeing as well. Uh, runs black and black and white. I just seen. I, I, I'm making you read this. How clear is this for you to read? I just I've just had that thought now. Is this actually easy for you it's, to read? It, it? It's 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 good enough. That's not a good sign. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. It's it's fine. <laughs> yeah, okay. Like I can I can see I can read I can read what the runners' names are. Okay. It's fine. Uh, Pokemon card card game how to play DS a few times there. Oh, we had a conquest. It's a long run. All legends. That's a very long run. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I believe that is the first. That's twenty nine. I'm like, oh, it's only half an hour. Nope, it's thirty hours. Yeah, I believe that's the first run of that category. So, like a default wall check all but it's still. It's still like a 30 hour world record, so fair play for finishing that. I guess oh. we got new top three times in black two, white two. Yeah. We talked about just going minute, but crafted also with the third place 311. Very solid time. The most action white two is seen at the top in a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> X and Y, yeah, we talked about how Truly got the record first, then Wartab took it back. We also have a couple of good times in the top 10, had Bob, Ekman. Yeah, Ekman actually transferred over from Emulator. Uh, they were primarily like an Emulator runner and transferred over to console, so it's good to see them pulling out top times. And then shout out to Head Bob's comment, got Poker Us during the run. <laughs> oh, nice. I mean, it was currently on pace for a sub four X Y run, by the way. Oh, nice, nice. So Minnow will Wait. be there soon. Oh, neat. Hang on, the shocking thing to me: Minnow's running three DS. Oh, really? X Y. He got a yeah three DS capture card sent to him by Slayer. Ah, oh, that's cool. Slayer sent him one to run X and Y. Good stuff. Yeah, cool. Let's want him to never run all grass. <laughs> <laughs> in May. Small in May. Uh, yes. Her, okay, her comments are, are good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, May does have some of the best comments. Jordan, how was your time? Oh, uh, let's not oh, bring Jordan. mine up. Let's not bring this up. <laughs> or. I shouldn't say Auras, I should say Alpha Sapphire, specifically. How can people grind that cat that game? I mean, I get why. It's like, it's, in, it's like I understand why people like it. It's enjoyable, but it's 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 just not for me. Whereas also Alpha Sapphire is the worst version of the two. If it, if I was really if I did Omega Ruby, then maybe it would have been better. But I didn't have the choice. It was a sub goal. Oras, more than any other Pokemon game, makes me feel bad when things go wrong. Like, they, they make yeah. me feel like I need to improve this when something goes wrong more than any other Pokemon game for me. Like, the thing is, I really like Hoenn. Hoenn is my favorite region, and like Emeralds is my favorite game. And like, I like Oras' games. I just don't think I could ever put the time to run this because it just seems miserable oh it felt miserable because like this was i said this was a sub incentive i think it took me a month to get to like to get to finishing this run <laughs> is it like three weeks a month and like there was like i had to take like a week off reasons but like it was like it was it took a month just to finish the run granted that was also being me if we runs and if everyone died then it well if like something went a fair bit wrong and I just stopped the run but it still took a month <laughs> so maybe there's a bit of bitterness in me as well with that but yeah I've got some moon to look forward to at least <laughs> woo um, one thing I've just noticed though 
I don't know why they're upside down. Um, I don't think Wartab's done a Japanese run, which is where that is. I might be wrong. I don't um, think so. wait. I think I might know why. This might be a category extension. It is. I moved this around wrong. <laughs> this is a me mistake. Okay. Um, because the leaderboard bot puts all the category extensions into the middle because of how SRC have uh, decided to set up um, Pokemon Speedruns. Let me just... Uh, there's probably a quick page. Like a Pokemon series. Um, if you click show unofficial releases, <laughs> all... There's a lot of category extensions that have been thrown in from when, I, I well, I don't know when specifically, but okay. when when they were created, like these specific ones, when like when all the splits for them were happening, the like S the SRC staff put them all in into here, and it's a nightmare. As someone who wants to make this be as neat as possible. So, my bad. <laughs> Basically, I'm just saying I made a mistake. So, but yeah, that is a world record for what is the, what is the run? It was like trade alt main semi poor. Yeah, film in pump up, which is like on the that's one of the Gen Five monkeys, isn't it? Yes, that it is indeed. Does not like. From what I've heard, people do not like those monkeys. They have Maybe bad opinions. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm totally not biased at all. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, fourth gen gamer getting a time on the Usum boards uh, for normal 3DS. That's not fourth gen. That's not. That's seventh <laughs> gen. <laughs> um, Ooh. movement in Let's Go Wave Warrior putting up a three oh six, which is a pretty respectable time. Didn't even know that he was running it. To yeah. be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I never knew. I know that either. Uh, but yeah, good movement on both both versions of the game, diploma yeah. and then all obtainables. We had a. Decent sized all obtainable Pokemon race um, earlier in October. I think that's where Gym Freaks run is from. And then Aspect getting a 529 after it. And then Sword and Shield, uh, Head Bob with a, well, soon to be third place because um, Ringo's run hasn't been verified yet in Sword, which is really good. Uh, 409 and then Jordan with your run. And then Iron getting a 4.17 today? Yeah, I got, uh, I beat that. So I actually, that was a 4.18.22. I got last week a 4.18.23, so I missed out by a second. And then today I got 4.17.22, where I, in a run where I died twice to Eternatus on both the first fight and then the Eternamax fight. Uh, this time it was Flamethrower Crit, <laughs> so, so bad. And then on the Mudsdale Death Warp, I stole him out of counters with Spite. He kept using counter, and I kept using Spite, and then he ran out, and then he killed me. So <laughs> <laughs> I, cl I clipped that cover, I highlighted it, because it was actually pretty, pretty funny. Um, I also skipped the stolen side candy on this. This is with Candy Floss. Okay. Um, my time wasn't particularly great. I, I went for that skip. Um, I think the biggest issue is, like, a hop five fight becomes a bit scarier um, because you're not you're like level 31 instead of 33 or 34. Um, but he used dive, so I just set up a second X special attack while he's underwater, so it was fine. Um, definitely, uh, definitely trying to get this down. I'm pretty much just gonna run this until BDSP comes out and try to get like four sub 415 if I can. That's the plan. Nice. Yeah. Also, yeah. you mentioned that. Candy skip made me realize I just did I like for that run for my time I just did a completely different rare candy thing where I just got out two rare candies. Right, yeah. Yeah, your Arcanine definitely didn't need the second one, and then you got a I saw it was a 43 drill burst, so you didn't need the other one there either. Yeah, so I only picked up 
two, yeah. Two. Yeah. Yeah, the oh, two. Okay. The one yeah, the one that you get in Wedgehurst and the one that's in Hammerlock. Um I should probably need some of those the notes that I have made for that. Put them out there. Yeah, because I don't know if the like the public notes have the can you can skip candies in certain situations. Because I tried Archadrill for like a week and it didn't I don't remember seeing anything like that. Yeah, they they're not because that that route specifically like the one that's the public notes that's fourth gen's notes with the um where you do double Nessa rare candy, right? Yep. Yeah. Whereas oh, right, yeah. this, like the reason why I did this was because Etiquette mentioned skipping a rare candy and I was like, oh, I'll just take that further, which ninety percent of the time is not really a good idea. As to be fair, I don't think it, you don't you don't get that punished. I think either way. It's like if you don't get the rare candy on Route Four, where you have to walk anyway, so it's a fly point to Route Four, so you can like you have the bike and you can just quickly get grab the rare candy. It's only really an issue if you need to get that Route Four rare candy, and then have to go back to Stoneside. But even then, it's like it's only like it's really only like a menu difference, isn't it? That's it. Yeah, it's really not too bad. Yeah. Um. But yeah, moving on, um, lots of movement, like you said, in the Japanese sword category. Um, basically, two through eight, except for five, like fifth. <laughs> oh, um, there's a ring over in there. I forgot about that. I'm yeah. pretty sure there's another ring over in there for the Japanese already. Um, yeah, I think he was some... running Japanese as well. Yeah. yeah I mean, it's like a 407, like... I think. You got... Uh, Actually, you know what? Secret little hidden. Um, that's the English one. Don't look at all the other ones that have not been verified yet. Uh, the, all the Japanese runs are verified by Itotaka. We don't touch the Japanese ones. Uh, language ones, at least. Yeah, it's a 406. Uh, yeah, 406, 49. And then there's also a... 357 41 and these oh, were the done these were done a bit ago but yeah they, they, they've just been submitted now on youtube so um yeah ball runs <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh so there's still a lot of Japanese friends, which is it's really cool in my eyes. So seeing like all of them that have come through. Even if I maybe maybe part of the reason why I find them cool is because I know I don't have to verify them, so I can just uh, admire them. <laughs> yeah. And then any percent with DLC, some movement there. I actually did PB in that, but I never submitted it. Um I got a four oh three oh five, which would be second place. Congratulations. Oh, was that with Tyrantrum? Or... No, I did... Um, it was with Dragonite. Oh, that one. Oh, yeah. is that the one where it popped out the Switch dock? No, so... Oh, it's a different one. <laughs> I do have that one. <laughs> yeah, I have a 40300 where the Switch popped out of the Switch dock for some weird reason. I don't know why. It's definitely not because I slammed my desk in anger. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, like, literally lost... Like it paused my timer and I lost like ten seconds of footage. But no, I did it again uh, last week and I got a four oh three oh five. But I don't really want to submit it for two reasons. One, it's one second faster than second place, which feels mean. Um, and the other reason is because I lost like a minute and a half in the mid game to forgetting to swap back my Pokemon after the death warp. So it just like doesn't feel like a good run that I that I really want to submit. So yeah, that's, hopefully that's I'll bad. beat it before BDSP. If not, maybe I'll upload it and do that. Yeah, I I had that mindset with the Let's Go run. That I think was actually probably in. The, I assume it would be in this roundup. It was really back in April. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah, so new snap. Um, some new times here. Um, all Pokemon record. It looks like by Carlio as well. Yep. And then the all the 
or fan games. Oh, I guess one thing with Poke Clicker, they've added auto clicker categories recently. Like within the all oh, since the last podcast. And so Yeah. Just I noticed pretty cool. that. Because cool. uh, I imagine having to. Hand I love May's comment. <laughs> Spooky, <laughs> scary bulbasaurs. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, May. There. Yeah. Uh, I mean, like, I didn't just say which one. I don't know much about this game. So. Uh, just, but just in general, for like the. I for all the uh, rum hacks in the fan games. Just... Yeah, this this one's a weird one because it's the series overall, like fan game series mods. Like we all, one of us is a mod in each game, but we don't really per like, as far as I know, need none of us participate in this game specifically. So uh, they kind of do their own thing. Uh. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, Rumble Weekend, we have Rubber Ducky Assassin and a couple runs. Uh, this uh, Unbound was a really interesting one. So um, Head Bob, this is a game that came out. The guy who made this hack was the guy who also made the complete fire Red upgrade, which is um, pretty much the go-to tool if you want to bomb hack um, with fire Red as a base. Um, and he made this really cool ROM hack called Unbound. It's a really, it's a fairly difficult hack, but it's not stupidly difficult like like unspeedrunnable it's definitely speedrunnable uh, head bob kind of routed it i helped a little bit with some minor things early game um uh it's you actually you, you pretty much start with gibble and you run that uh for the run uh so it's it's kind of oh. cool but uh it takes a long time to become guard chop so yeah it's uh it's a little bit slow going um uh, head bob was the only one who ever did like actual runs of it um myself head bob and dradlon did a race for psr community day um and i think yeah me and dradlon did it blind um we had the notes in front of us but i had never played beyond like the first fight before um so i kind of just did, was reading head bob's notes um and going through it that way and uh took a while but uh, it was a lot of fun uh really was a blind race for you then it pretty much was yeah head bob actually started doing the race with us and he was destroying us and then we were asking him so many questions to clarify stuff that he just killed his run and helped us <laughs> he just stayed yeah. in the voice call and, and helped us helped coach us through um pretty cool run i don't know if i'll grind it out it's as you can see it's like four and a half hours long it's it's kind of on the long end for for games um Sword is like kind of at my kind of the pit, the the peak for me in terms of long the longest run I'll do at this point in terms of the time commitment that I can spend on a game. Pretty cool run. Uh, Fire Red Leaf Green Plus. Sorry. Uh, sorry, I've never heard of Pokemon Unbound. Is there a run hack? Yeah, it's it's been out for about six months or so, or maybe a little bit longer, but uh, it's fairly common in terms of people who play ROM hacks. People. Uh. One of the more popular ones. Uh, yeah, we talked about Fire Red Leaf Green Plus. These are actually these are actual PBs. Um, the head bob with a 119 with Squirtle, and then I got 121 with Charmander. Um, I probably could improve that a little bit. Um, so, but I still think Charmander's slower, um, which is kind of what you expect. And then I did a run of Elite Four Round 2, which I was talking about earlier, where you actually just do all the Sevi Island stuff as well. Don't have to worry about catching anything. And uh, got under two hours in that, but it was not a good run. And uh, I don't know if I'll come back to improve it, but we'll see. Because there's lots of, lots of games coming out that I'll be playing in the coming months. And I read quickly with the category extensions, because it's been... Two hours and forty minutes now. Uh, Jed. <laughs> no it, no instant text. That's a good time for long oh. bro. Oh yeah, the one that caught my eye was one two four glitchless classic from Chen. Yeah, yeah that's really totally good. cool. <laughs> uh, 
but I'll scroll yeah, through you kind of slowly. Just quickly try and throw names out and I'll try and stop. Lots of your typical alt mains. Mm -hmm. Yep. There's all the manipulous runs for Diamond yeah. Pearl. Lots of activity there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> All the way down to <laughs> That was very fun to verify. <laughs> and there's this little line films that comes out on top with a 10353. Are you gonna let that stand, Scoa? Pardon? Are you gonna let that stand? Uh, yeah, I hit. Dude, you see grinding <laughs> that category? It's really fun until you get like a 105 and then it's just pain. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Because it's so play for 20 minutes, get hidden par normal, and have to reset. Or like like a really bad hidden par type. And then you just, you're just done. Like the whole run rides on getting like grass or grind or something. Yeah, I was going to ask with a hidden power, like whether you reset for that or you just... Yeah, that, that's it. why it's awful. And also, uh, this is definitely a me thing. I just, I just hate encounters. <laughs> and I'm like, I, I could just be doing He's extended manip. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Worcester called me a manip baby like three weeks ago, and it really is true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so used to being able to manipulate just absolutely everything. <laughs> some other category extensions here. Some manipulous glitchless for plat. Rotom alt main. That sounds horrible. Oof. No, dude, Rotom's so good. I don't even know what, what Rotom's like, but Rotom is an awesome Pokemon. Oh, it's a great Pokemon, but different variants saw, are pretty cool, yeah. I also saw E4 round 2 glitch there. Um, That route is... Pretty cool. Um, you don't actually have to do any of the Stark Mountain stuff. <laughs> or no, so you don't have to do like a lot of the stuff. You can, you don't have to do the Dex requirement because you can just tweak past it. Oh. Nice. Uh. Some good times in Manipulous Glitches for Heart Gold, Soul Silver as well. It's pretty solid times there. As well as any percent. I know Jimmy was grinding, grinding any percent. Yeah, Jimmy's West been grinding that for a really long time. Feel bad for Jimmy. <laughs> I really want him to get like it's just a really good run. He deserves it at this point. You see all the different ways to die on red. Yeah. <laughs> I really want to point out that um, Nipless Black and White One run by Kutora with a ten turn freeze in Bryson's gym. Got ice beam from a cryogonal and got frozen for ten turns. Ooh. Oh, let's go it. White tree hollow. White tree okay. hollow is a phenomenal category. However, it's completely ruined by RNG manipulation, so I'm just not gonna manip. Because you can literally manip the entire tree hollow. Worcester with complete Oak World tournament. Yeah, that's 29. a crazy run. I I never I haven't watched the whole thing, but it's the amount of work that went into that is insane. You have to do so many manips. <laughs> and to clarify, I'm not running it. Just just throwing that out there. Not doing it. Regardless of how much Worcester asks. Probably should. Give it a try. <laughs> Why not? No harm. Lots ten of plus. harm. I value yeah, ten, ten, ten plus hours of harm, but no ten plus hours of no l or of no l equals a. No, thank you. A nice copy past a comment by Corvame. <laughs> yep. More trade alt main stuff. These are probably all like viewer. Yeah, what well, those incentives yeah. for war tab. Yeah. Hey, there's the trade alt main. Hey, hey there we go. 
uh, <laughs> I guess also to point out all Mega Stones from fourth gen. Oh yeah, all Mega Stones in XY. All right, oh XY. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I just assumed it was Omega Ruby. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. It was Omega Ruby because I remember etiquette you ran that. Yeah, it's like, well, yeah, we have it split now into 45 or 44 Mega Stones. Because what? 45 involves two hours of contests. So you That sounds like the superior category. It's a really good one. Yeah. I, I Here's actually, the thing. I, they're, still not doing... like it. <laughs> they're still not even doing all Mega Stones. Because well, they're right. not getting the 1,000 flags. I'm not doing the 1,000 flags, but also not time traveling to a Diancy event. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Why are you yeah. not doing that one? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, more trade alts there. Uh, Pokemon Re League rematch. That's sort of like the Elite Four round two for Let's Go. Um, the main difference is because you can just sort of like challenge the Elite Four a second time right away. Uh, there's also gym leader rematches, so you basically do all the gym leader rematches and then the Elite Four round two. So it's a pretty cool run. Bootleg Ash, I know, was popular this last month. It's like Ash percent from yellow, but with Let's Go quirks, because you still have to catch 50 Pokemon and stuff. Uh, yes, it does cool include category. it does include catching all the Tauros. It does include catching 29 Tauros, yep. There's no end years by the At least you imagine. can chain them, right? Yeah. Who <laughs> uh, co-op as well? Yeah. Yep. Good time by J. Ash and Corpame. Um, more alt mains. Um, that's getting a lot of activity right now for Sword yeah. Shield. Yeah. Oh, okay, extensions. Um, worth pointing out the Darmanitan. The Galarian Darmanitan is officially the fastest of the trade oh, yeah. all Oh, wow. Um, it beat out, I think Dialga was the, yeah. the fastest before that. That's cool. Huh. That's not what I would expect. Yeah. Yeah. There's all, if you, like, as well, it's, it's ability is basically choice band or something. Yeah, its ability is... Oh, right, yeah. And then yeah. throw a choice band on top of that as well, I guess. And then... Oh. Yeah, that's and... nasty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess you also... have Tactics... So the ability is Gorilla Tactics, and if you have that plus choice band, it becomes, like, 2.25 times, because the 1.5 stack. So, like, your attack is literally doubled. More than doubled. Which is really cool. Yeah. I'm also just going to point out Trade on Main Gothitel. That's the first run on the category extension with Turbo. Nice. Which, at the time, we didn't know there was Turbo, but they had, they mentioned it after the fact. It was like the same day they mentioned it or something. Turns out, because I was, I was the one that verified it as well. If you're not really looking for Turbo, you don't think about, I didn't think about Turbo. Quite, quite easy to get by, apparently, at least with uh, trade alt mains and stuff. I probably shouldn't say that, though. <laughs> Actually, it's fine to say for trade alt mains now. It's a while, but... More strict on main board runs. Mm -hmm. Especially now. Uh, but yeah, more trade alts. Yeah, more, more trade alts. Just trade alt more peco sounds horrible. Just because of the <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's quite a few trade that made more Pekka runs. This ability. It, like, uh, changes between hungry form and angry form every turn. Oh. Yeah. Lots of flexing. Yeah, more, more flex categories got added. And it wasn't even me that thought of them. Or even had a hand in making Flex them. Of course you still ran them all. Uh, well, yeah. Again, it was another... I think I don't know. I can't remember if it was a follower or sub incentive. But I did a, a Flex on Thon. But I did pretty much... I did all the Flex categories. Terrible idea. Don't do that. 
iron with the uh, power to his get Urshu and don't get Urshifu. Fifth place for both. Yeah, those win. are fun when you don't die. <laughs> yeah, that was I had that conversation with Jordan earlier today. <laughs> yeah, was like, yeah, no, this category is great as long as you don't like die at any point. <laughs> Yeah. So many, yeah, the one that can just kill you. Yeah, the my run was pretty good considering I had to go to level twenty one for for mustard. Oh, That's geez. Okay. And yeah, I got I got I had to wait about a minute for Blissey's, and I got four in a row, and then yeah, <laughs> just blitz through the tower, and then yeah, it was pretty solid. Yeah, if I, if anyone wants to run a shorter length category in like the later generation of Pokemon games, Tower of Two Fists. I say don't do. I'd say do don't get Oshifu, but get Oshifu is also great. Yep. Yeah. They're, they're great just to like do if you want to do like a shorter later gen run. This is not really anything that's short in the earlier generations. Like what the shortest any percent runs three ish hours. Be like, for like 303 it'll be Omega Ruby right yeah that's the shortest past gen 4 yeah. well unless you Diamond Pearl <laughs> yeah I was gonna say any percent for Diamond Pearl I guess yeah if you want to do something that's not got any glitches <laughs> uh, yeah, I would highly really recommend as well average. do it on sword it's much better on sword if you have to do shield, I do feel a bit sorry for you. It's not nice. I have physical copies, that's what's stopping me right now. <laughs> Honestly, physical copies would be fine. It's not that bad of a difference. Uh, especially for this. Uh, I think even for any percent, like three to four minutes. Which oh, that that's is... like three to four minutes I could save. Well, I mean, that's for any percent though, which is like four odd hours. It'll be much shorter for this. Be like a minute or so, Not even probably a whole minute, guys. Yeah, a whole minute. Just because the, dif oh, the difference in <laughs> is the difference in fights, or is it like menus that's loads? Like, like just in general, that was loads. Yeah, it was loads. When someone did the timing, I don't remember who did the timing, but someone did it. Yeah, I feel like there'd be it'd be, yeah, it'd be, you're right. It would be much less because you don't do too much in, in the Isle of Armor off with the Dynamax Adventure 1 player world record or a 4 minute 25 yeah run that run that score that's no that's low <laughs> times it's still <laughs> low times <laughs> uh Potentially. etiquette let me start tournament world record well done yeah um I actually so I actually got a 719 which was the record and then T Pat and I did a race, and he got a seven seventeen during the race, and I got a seven oh seven. Um, really fun category. It's very long, um, but the the sort of wild discrepancy in times is really comes down to you have to catch nine legendary Pokemon, um, and you're given two Master Balls, so you have to like actually RNG catch them. Uh, the other seven of them, so there could be sort of wild differences. Of my seven non-master ball catches, um, one of them was first ball, and then only one of them took more than, or two of them took about fifteen turns, and the rest of them were under ten. So overall, it was really good. Bad. Um, Beating RNG. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely beatable, but like, it's you have to get really good catch luck to beat the time. So we'll see. And also a Japanese one, a Japanese version. They asked for the leaderboard. Um, sub seven there from Hockey Hot Yan. Yeah, Which... from what I can tell, it's mostly the same route. Um, one of the big differences is they were using, they would Master Ball Registeel as the first legendary to catch, and then use Registeel as their like Paralyzer and Damager to catch other Pokemon. Um, what we were doing for English, which is no reason you can't do one or the other in the other languages. It's just what we had, were doing was catching a Dedene, which gets both Thunder or Nuzzle, 
which is 100% paralysis, and then super fang, which is like guaranteed damage. So that's the only combo, down yeah. you do have to go like make a special trip to the Isle of Armor to get it. But once you have it, it's a really good, um, really good to have. Yeah. And you also need to go to the Isle of Armor anyway, don't you? Multiple yeah. times. <laughs> so. You have to go there a couple times, yeah. Uh, I think also Turbo is a lot for that category, but I don't believe that, at least for the World Record run, I don't think they use Turbo from what I've been looking at. Yeah, I'm not sure. Japanese just sort of like blanket allows it, so it's... Yeah, the blanket allows it, but I think there are, there's a fair few runs that don't, which right. is cool. Uh, stadium? Lots of stadium. <laughs> Yeah, lots of kids' club stuff. Yeah. As someone who has definitely not played Stadium. Um, it's like these mini games. Yeah. I'm nowhere. Oh, I was nowhere. Thank you. <laughs> it, it seems. I don't know. Like, are, they, are they fun? I, I assume they would be, yeah. but like, are they like worth speedrunning and taking time to like grind it's fun or. Uh, taking time to grind would be the eye of the beholder. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, you're true. They, they are fun to do. Um, I don't know what the mini games like are like in Stadium Two, but I know in Stadium One there are things like there's like ring toss with Ekans, and there's some like timing ones, some Simon Says ones. Like you know, it's just your standard mini game kind of stuff. Cool. And. Ignore trading card games because no one likes Bulbasaur. Uh, sorry, Iron. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness of Main Jolteon. Lord Nando 1, 50957. Then Rumble. <laughs> Bidoof percent, Max Bidoof. Akiru with a world record, 50502. That deserves a special shout. And then RDA and Akiri. That's like I think that that's their their games. They're they're the two rumble the two rumble runners I am very aware of. I believe Akiri has the most category essential world records. I believe that they exclusively run Rumble. Just a little fact to throw out there. That's it. Woohoo. We, we've almost hit the three hour mark. Well done if you are still here. Um. So, some of the things. Last things to mention. Outside of the podcast being on the next month, being on the 4th of December. That's the, yeah. Uh, Oh, it should be on the first oh, on the fourth of December. Maybe there could be some things that pop up that might end up causing uh, a change to that. But as of right now, it's currently December fourth. And is there anything else from anyone else here? I don't nope. think so. No. Right. Um, I guess the only other thing is with the new Pokemon game launching this year. Um, well, this month I should say. Uh, Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl. Majority of that um, conversation will likely be happening in the Switch Discord. So if you guys are interested in speedrunning the game, um, I would definitely join there. And it's going to be a wild, you know, couple weeks as soon as that comes out. While well, everyone tries to figure out the route, what's fastest, what's what's what, and it's usually a really fun time. So I definitely recommend it. Um, and in general, if you do plan on speedrunning um we do recommend you get the uh digital copy of the game just because it is it, like the load times are faster at least on the two switch games that we have right now um and that tends to be the theme for most switch games um but if you do decide to get a physical copy and speed run that there will at least be a, a variable on the leaderboards for it so um yeah, I just wanted to mention that. So, Cooker, if you're 
He's still here. Thank you. He he took off. All right, fair enough. I respect Pretty that. Late for him, I think. Yeah, it'll be it'll be midnight. So, but thank you, Skooker, for uh, coming on. Do appreciate it. And yeah, thank you as well, Skoa. That's Skoa is also taking off. Are you still here? Welcome back. I am still here. Hello. Hello. Thank you for be like. Thank you for coming on once again. You're most welcome. And as well, etiquette. I thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks, guys. We'll try to keep the next one shorter. It should. Be yeah, we'll we'll less, try. Less to go for next time. <laughs> yeah. So see you on the fourth of December. Take a risky day, evening, wherever you are. Stay safe. Take care. And we'll figure someone to trade. Is actually is is Mino still on the run? Mino is still on the run, as far as I know. Yeah, he, he's either just. Yeah, well, I'll check. Quickly. I think they ju he just finished um, and raided Primal Pizza doing Diamond Pearl glitchless. All right, then. And us the same way. <laughs> yep, we'll send everyone over to Primal Pizza then. So, thank you for watching. Take care. Have a good rest of your evening or day, wherever you are. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.